He's fat in route while LeBron James had dropped 30 in three quarters and had completely dominated and looked in peak physical condition and looked like an absolute stud and superstar and marquee Zion Williamson, who's more than 15 years younger but 40 pounds heavier, went to the free throw line. Ladies and gentlemen, I saw a belly. I mean, damn. Damn, what's up, Zion? It better not got your ass kicked, losing by 44 points in a, in a sem playing semifinal. Did nothing to lead and galvanize your team. Did nothing to show the man child that you are and to take over. But you look like you showed up to the game having just ate a buffet. Like you ate the damn table. He looked like he ate the buffet. I saw him literally inhale, take a deep breath at the free throw line, and I saw a belly. Like, like Austin Powers, fat bastard, like, get in my belly. That's what I saw. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck That's did crazy. we just listen to? <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> get in my belly is crazy. Hey, man. Oh, <laughs> my God, bro. <laughs> <laughs> what? I mean, he went, I mean, I, I, I feel bad. I, I feel bad for him because the world's got some good ass food down there, though, nigga. <laughs> nah, for real. So for I, real. I get it. Hey, I man. get it. <laughs> They ain't got shit, they got some food. Man, she said, what the fuck did we just listen to? <laughs> hey. Damn, Zion. Hey, man. Hey, dog, that shit was wild, bro. But you know what? I understand, dog. I fucking understand, man. Uh, I get it, Zion. I get it, bro. Hey. I get it, man. He into a lot more than food down mm -hmm. there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He had an eventful mm -hmm. last summer for sure, man. Shit. Very eventful summer. But uh, yeah, welcome to episode 52 of the MKU podcast on the MKU Network, man. This your man, Zan P. I got Asia with me. Hey. And we got some special, special guests in the building, man. This is our one year anniversary, by the way, man. So we kind of had to set this shit off a certain way. Definitely. <laughs> Definitely to my right, man. I got my man, Jay Johnson. One half of shop the, the real pie father. One half of this week in culture was popping. Yeah, what up, what up, what up, man? So, uh, shit, we got him in the building. Uh, my nigga RTL Rock, what's the deal, bro? What up, though? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And we got the man of the hour in this bitch right now. He just dropped in the sun. Fire yes, project. Sir. Yes, sir. yes, sir. Introduce yourself, man. Uh, you got Hunted and Dreddy up in here. Yes, for sir. Your anniversary. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, man. Oh, yeah. Return. Yeah, we're gonna be turning in a minute, man. Oh, yeah, yeah we're gonna be turning in a minute. Oh, man. <laughs> All right, so look, before we get to these boxes right here, how's everybody week been, man? We're gonna start with you, Asia. <laughs> I'm having a phenomenal week. I can't complain. That's good. I'm excited. Mm -hmm. Especially excited to take a break after this fuck episode. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're gonna do like a little two week break after this shit, man. But, you know, we're gonna have some, we're gonna have, we're we not gonna, we're not, we still gonna have content for y'all, by the way. So. Absolutely. Yeah, we're gonna get that together. So that's good. It's good. Jay? Oh uh, man, week been good, dog. Uh, I've been utilizing the camera. I've been using lots of videography. Shit, we just dropped episode three hundred and ninety nine. That's Ooh, shit. Man. Fuck that. That. Damn, man. Okay. Shout out to that. Yeah, man. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. That's crazy, man. So, Rock, what's going on with you, bro? Hey man, it's been a great week, man. Shout out to them cloud catchers, RTL Music Group, that yeah. Emma Sun out, man. It's, yeah. it's been a hell of a week, yeah. man. We've been celebrating too. Oh yeah, yeah. partying. We're gonna, right. we gonna celebrate a little bit here too in a minute, man. Yeah, yeah, let's get it, <laughs> honey. What up, bro? What's going oh, on, man? man? You know, great week, real great week. Dropping Emma Sun on my mama's birthday, so hey, it, it, it only made sense. Mama, the applause right there. Yeah. And my mama loved it. That's the most important thing, you know. Mm -hmm. so my mama loved it. She was more turned than anybody, you know. So. We've been partying since the second. So, yeah, great week. Great week. Gotcha, gotcha, man. Me, uh, everything been good, man. Um, shit, Tequila Fest was uh, Friday. How was it? It was okay, man. Um, it, okay. They 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 had, they had selection was kind of fucked up. Was they it was, gentrified? No, nah, it was a lot of niggas in there. Oh, but, uh, <laughs> oh, Lord. It was a lot of niggas in there, man. But, like, <laughs> um, some of the tequila was good, man. Uh, a lot of the shit that I usually be looking for wasn't there. There wasn't no Padre there. There wasn't oh, no yeah. Herodura there. Trez? Yeah, no, nah, I wasn't even no Trez there. No Trez. Yeah, like, nah, nah, but the food trucks was hitting, though. Oh, shit. Them food trucks was hitting like a motherfucker, nigga. Them taco trucks. Oh, Trez is fire. But, nah, nigga, what I had was um, some mini donuts. They oh, just, yeah. they, them bitches was warm already. They put, like, the little, uh, Fruity Pebble dust on them bitches too. Okay. Them bitches was hitting like a motherfucker, dog. Was it all real tequila there? Not all of it. You know, niggas be they, yeah. be, they be manufacturing tequila. Yeah, nah, 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 yeah, it wasn't no ah. costume. Nah, but it was some bullshit. Yeah, what the fuck was there? It was man. Look, they had uh, donut salon. The 
dial and shit, that was there. That was there? Okay. Yeah, but they ran out and tried to give me Avion. They got poured that shit out. I'm like, I'm straight. <laughs> the Anejo isn't that bad. Man, shit. Hey, yeah, nigga, it was, crazy. A, it was the silver. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah, crazy. yeah it was the silver. Yeah, nigga. Oh, yeah you yeah. wouldn't have made it. You yeah. wouldn't have made it here today. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. <laughs> nigga. Huh? It had no 1800 in there? <laughs> oh, I hope not. Speaking of that. Uh, <laughs> all right. Did anybody fight? <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, everybody, was, everybody was in a jolly ass mood, man. Okay. Niggas. Yeah. So, oh, no, it wasn't, right. so it wasn't no 1800. No, it wasn't no 1800, there, thankfully. Thankfully. Yeah. Thank God. Thank you, Tequila God. <laughs> but all right, man. So look, this is what we got here. We got three boxes right here. Mm. Shit. Y'all get to pick which one, which box y'all want, and y'all got to drink out of that motherfucker. That's great. And we oh. can't pick it up. You can't pick it up. Mm, mm, mm. I don't like the rules. I don't care. <laughs> oh, and I do want to say that you are the reason that I actually drink tequila. Oh yeah, yeah. The uh, yeah. motherfucker. Um, when y'all was coming through the studio with your rapper tequila. <laughs> <laughs> rapper weed. This was coming with rapper tequila every fucking week. Yeah, mo- and, um, the motherfucker Sinfrey with I used to smell tequila in my mouth of water like I want to throw up. You know what I'm saying? Damn, I had bad experience with the 1800. <laughs> I yeah. bet, but uh, nah, I, 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 that's all I drink is tequila, nah, shit. You know, it's, it's, good, it's good I'm, for you. Right. It's good I'm for hoping that's the same after these boxes is open. Oh yeah, no, 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 we good, we good, we good, we good. <laughs> so, Are we? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we good, man. So one of us might not be. So who picking first? Oh shit, I'm gonna go first. Okay, what you want? But I can't pick it up. You can't pick it up. <laughs> we not doing that. Just, just pick one. I'm gonna go with this one right here. Okay. You just touched it. Though. Yeah, you did. You just want to. You said to touch I could touch it. it. You can. Whatever. Okay. All right. What you got, honey? We are gonna go with the one in front of me. One in front of you. All right, Jason. What you got? I gotta go see. So you wanna go with this? Yeah. Okay. What about you, bro? I'm going with the one in front of honey, man. Shit. All right. Uh, so ain't nobody fucking with the box. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. Open it up. <laughs> you probably got hey. the right one. That's the crazy part. Um, you pick this one. You pick this. One? Yeah. You are drinking white Hennessy. Oh, yeah. hell no. Yeah. Yes. Oh. 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 oh, shit. That look, eight, that look 1800 is shining on. That look. That look. Oh, my. Damn. Shit. Oh, my God. You at least got the name. Hey, no, that's a part of me that feel like that's better than Hennessy, though. I ain't going to lie right now. I like the, I like the Hennessy, but I already started drinking uh, tequila today. Y- y'all fucked up because you already know what this one was. This one I'll be drinking. You ain't thinking. It's because he knew. No, I didn't know. Oh, nigga. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> you should have let us switch him around. Ooh, <laughs> tomato. I, I, want a, though, I want a recount, man. <laughs> tomato. Yeah, this, this, this one's good. I, you, you, never, you ain't never had this one before, have you? Mm-hmm. No. Nope. This tequila. It's, I'll, give, it's I'll give you a shot. One of the okay. best tequila right, you've right, ever right, had. Right. I ain't never had it either. All right. It's amazing. Hey, it's amazing. Man. I don't hey. like that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like it. All right, man. Yeah. So look, I got y'all some chasing, I man. I don't drink Hennessy, though. Well, you're drinking it tonight. So if we I get like into a fight later, I don't even know how to drink you. this shit. Right, hey. I'm, I'm glad we got car service outside. I'm glad we got car service. Shout out to Chill. Shout out to Chill, man. Shout out to Chill, man. You said what now? Shit. I was like, no, nah, let me go number two. Let me support black women. And <laughs> hey, look at you now. Look at you. <laughs> Fucked up. <laughs> well, yeah, you might want to go ahead and get the opening them up and all that. <laughs> Holy shit. Standing on business. You want to mix this with something? You can mix with lemonade. <laughs> Hey man, I ain't even got the shot. The shot, man. Wait no. a minute, bro. Wait <laughs> Thank a God. Minute. Thank God. <laughs> Nothing ever came good from them Nothing shot glasses. Do I shake it? I don't even know what the fuck I'm doing. I got a crazy this. 1800 yeah, story. Like this, yeah, I got crazy 1800 oh, story. Crazy. I think we all do. But man, I got look, crazy I don't know what the fuck. Yeah, you shake shit. Hennessy. <laughs> you shake oh, Hennessy? God. It's, it's white Hennessy. Yeah. She don't drink. This smells like domestic fucking abuse. No, nah, that's not domestic that's, violence. That's what it is. That's It's about right. Yo, wait, over wait till right. he cracked that eighteen hundred open. It's really <laughs> gonna. Oh man, <laughs> violence! The violence has started. Shit, my eighteen hundred is crazy of you. <laughs> I know <laughs> the fact you went in there and bought this I shit. Know, like, hey I man, know. let me get some white Hennessy in eighteen hundred. Did somebody ask you if you was okay when you man. purchased it? Oh, they was like, they was like, let me right. get the best tequila ever in there eighteen hundred <laughs> and, and, and white Hennessy. Yeah, shit. A little Loki. I was gonna get the Branson Cognac. Okay, I'm, okay. You know what? <laughs> hey, nah, we you you got off good now. <laughs> let me let me pour this, man. Who? Oh, you picked this rock? Here you go, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, no, you picked it, and I went with the home team. <laughs> I, I picked it, and you followed, man. Just 
I usually make better decisions. Yeah, nigga, did you like the Pistons with I, that one? Dog? I usually do make better decisions. That's that's yeah. all I got. Hey, poor decisions never hurt disgusting. nobody. <laughs> yes, I love it. I love it. <laughs> You ain't right, dog. <laughs> you is not right. You gonna ask us how our week went and then we can and proceed fuck to fuck up. it up. Hey, look. Uh, y'all niggas is having a great week. Y'all had a good week. Good. It's over now. Y'all pick the bo- y'all pick the boxes, man. Jason, you fucking with it? Yeah, I mean, I, I you pick the liquor to put in the boxes. On the on the not by choices side of things. Now you yeah. about to give me some tequila and Hennessy. Oh yeah. I mean, you man, have to we, put it in the same cup. You, 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 you put it in the same cup? No. Oh, okay. I'm about to say, like, nah, don't do that. I was about to say, man, like, that's man, scary. You, you, wilding, you living on the edge. Yeah, honey, you had it before, didn't you? Shit. Yeah, yeah. Honey, we had that at the studio. Yeah. I had a headache already. Oh, there we yeah, go. Not already, man. All right, man. So, since I. So, Ooh, what time? I like headache. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Look, I ain't even drink it yet. In my you want the lemonade? You give me straight. <laughs> no, Turned I need, up. Like, I, need, I took I a shot. I need lemonade. Oh, yeah. Pass it ain't even a want. Perfect. Yeah, I need it too. I usually drink my tequila straight, but yeah. Go try it first. You may not. Oh no! See, <laughs> I respect the way you went about that, but <laughs> I'm smart yeah. enough. I know That's my a try. You might not come yeah. back. Bro. <laughs> Old enough to know better. Smart enough to not give a fuck. Man. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm actually gonna <laughs> give a fuck. Smart enough to not <laughs> give a fuck. I'm actually gonna give a fuck. I gotta <laughs> give a fuck in this case. Okay. All right. All right, man. So we got some topics here, man. Um. Hey, I'm gonna let you pick first. You know what I'm saying? You, you, you good at picking topics and picking boxes, so. Damn. Um. <laughs> Not you throwing shots. Damn. Let's <laughs> hey. My fucking head is killing me. Um, Charleston White. <laughs> <laughs> you feel like you're getting jumped on stage? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So um. Like lights is bright as fuck all of a sudden. <laughs> A bitch ass nigga of the year, Charleston White, got jumped on stage. Oh. Um, Damn, that's ooh. a hell of an intro. Yeah, there, huh? I don't fuck with that nigga, man. Yeah, he got jumped on stage, got his ass whooped. Um, Shit. You know, I guess it, it, it was going to come around the time it was going to happen, man. You know, niggas was, he was over there throwing plants at niggas and shit like that. And <laughs> he did what he had to do. Yeah, yeah. but them niggas ran on stage, dog, and they, uh. Because I'm, I'm going to throw everything to somebody uh, trying to jump me. I ain't going to lie. <laughs> anything that I can grab, I'm throwing. Right. Get these yeah. niggas up off me. Yeah, so. They didn't get the money. They, 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 didn't, get the money. they didn't get the money. Them niggas fucked up, man. But they from Crockett, uh, Texas, or wherever the fuck that's at, man, so. My thing is, is that what this nigga does? He does stand-up? Oh. I didn't take him to be a comedian. Yeah. As as of lately, as, as of, of lately, yeah, they, 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 they uh, not too long ago. Yeah, they, they, they brought him down there. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Yeah, punch I don't. Line, not punch bowl. We, see, we, we got to blame the Same people thing. who paying them. Yeah, yeah people, pay, people paying to see that shit. Them. Hey, I'm like, know. I ain't. But if I people don't... gonna pay to see him, then fuck it. Hey. I guess he's oh. just on. I just don't think nothing that nigga could say to me is funny. And all that to to buy a ticket. To buy a ticket to watch him say that. Hey. Internet is free. Go on stage, just go on YouTube go on stage and, and talk and everything. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Like, oh, and then they get upset by what he says. Like, obviously, you didn't know research before you came. Right. Or they came for that. Yeah, nigga, mm. nigga do be coming, for, coming mm. up there for smoking shit. I ain't even going to lie. I wouldn't have paid for no ticket. But if I did pay for a ticket, I would have had to fight somebody myself. <laughs> <laughs> shit. Because how you going to fuck up a show that I paid to be here? Yeah, and just anybody right. gonna fuck something up for also, me is gonna be me. As a as a as a comedian, you gotta heckle. You gotta handle hecklers. Exactly. He, he went could, directly to p- pulling out fucking money on stage. Like niggas, if you don't think you funny, people boo. People say shit. Right. And, you know, mm. I got my money. All right, I got my I got my I got my back in. I got my back in. Like character. Don't nobody care that you playing a character when they feel disrespected. You yeah, yeah. 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 All that playful shit is one thing, but and it's Christmas. Niggas ain't got no Christmas. extra money right now. Yeah, yeah. You pulling out back ends on the stage, nigga. You, where was your security, nigga? Man, they That's tried. That's what to, I was nah, thinking. Look, I'm they like, tried to hop out there to stop, dog. But one of them got on stage, like, and just like niggas weren't playing defense man, right. Man, my security, somebody would have been folded, boy. Man, folded. I feel like when you know you're a character <laughs> right out, like soon that, soon as you to walk to the stage, you know you should have extra security. A lot of security. Like. Especially you small like he is. I think real small. Is nah, I'm, facts. Big, I'm big and tough. I don't need security. I'm just going to carry that big ass pig poker hey. and a little mace. You know what oh, I'm saying? Yeah. So when a man try to get on stage, he swung something at him and missed. All I'm going to say is. Chair, yeah. Then grab the flower pot. Yeah. Then grab like 
it's one thing where a nigga grabs some shit trying to take a stance. He was running, running. Like, yeah. <laughs> like, it is what it is. You know? no, no, nigga. Uh, he ain't, it, it ain't been a stand. He, he done stood on business every, every, mm-hmm. every opportunity. I ain't gonna lie. More than yeah. most niggas, man. So, he done had sure. some incidents and he done came out victorious. So, yeah. Yeah, that's why he t- caught his L yeah, for the first time. Caught, caught his, his L. L. Yeah, and, and it th- wasn't too bad. It was yeah. a little dust up, nothing too crazy. Yeah, but dog slammed the shit out of him. I know, I know yeah. like his insides was hurting and shit, man. He, he <laughs> caught his very memory. Yeah. The ribs hurt. Yeah, them ribs nah, hurt like a motherfucker, nah, dog. Sure. He got tackled, nigga. Like, yeah, yeah and dog picked him up and everything. I'm like, oh, yeah. It was, it was a delayed blitz. Yeah. Nah, for sure. A delay. It was a delay. Like I said, man. Quarterback sneak. Hey, yeah. man, look. Yeah. Hey, look, man. Send the safety in. His line, his <laughs> Charleston White's line was terrible, dog. They ain't, they, ain't, they ain't doing no favors, man. Like, y'all niggas went out there to stop this one nigga, and then the other mm-hmm. nigga got on stage and, like, yeah, got his ass. So. Yeah, my whole security fired. Fired. <laughs> oh, I had man. to restart. You're done. But I, but you know what? Them niggas fucked up, though, man. They ain't get the strip sack. They ain't get, they ain't get the bread. So, um. Yeah. You know, I don't know. Sometimes man. it's the principal. It's the principal. That was the I don't principal. need to I mean, rob you. I'm gonna just fuck you up. Nah, I still need the money. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, I, 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 I need that. Money. I need that money, dog. So yeah, if I would, if I was up there and he had that shit, would have grabbed that shit out of his pocket and dipped the fuck yeah, on. To be to be broke robbery. with principals, that's yeah, crazy. He, he gonna tell in Texas. <laughs> <laughs> that's your ass, Mr. Postman. Yeah, so <laughs> put him away. I see that turn a different way. A loved one. Had a similar situation. He handled business and then ran his pockets. Then the nigga went and told. And mm-hmm. they pulled a the tape from the liquor store. And then three to 15, three and a half to 15 mm. on some armed robbery shit. Mm-hmm. Now he looks like I'm a nigga standing outside of a liquor store trying to rob people. I mean, mm-hmm. this was a fight. He lost. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But he lost, man. You know what I'm saying? Shit, I, I won the prize. Nigga, give me your money. So, <laughs> oh my God. He made a bet. Yeah, he made a bet. Nigga lost. So. You know what I'm saying? It's ain't fan duel. But uh yeah, yeah, shout out to that nigga, man. I hope he get his ass beat again. Um Damn. And it was nice kinda disappointing because that nigga did have a really good interview with Cam Newton recently. So it's kinda like he actually said good things in that interview. Man. But you turn around and you just I hate what, what, I you say, what, you what you gotta say about I it, Jason. Seen that. What you gotta say about it, Jason? So a couple weeks ago he was like I only care about I only cared about all that youthful and helping the kids shit when I was broke. I'm rich now. I don't give a fuck about that shit now. Right. And then the next week, you back to this character now. Mm-hmm. Not a character that you're playing is one that actually, quote unquote, care about the kids. He's mm-hmm. like, only nigga that's in the hood talking about, I care about the kids and the community oh, niggas yeah. with no money. Mm-hmm. Now I'm rich. I'm like, uh, so which one is it? I, I feel like that, that was shock value. It could he, be. He said which outlandish shit. Uh, like, the I no, don't care about the kids. I don't care. I, I think that's yeah. the one. I gen, Like, from his background for what he actually has done on paper that, that we can see, he actually do things. But I think a lot of stuff that he do is very much so shock value. Mm-hmm. And, yeah. I, I, and it's weak. Yeah. It's very weak. Because he's he just, doing the same thing he criticizing everybody else for doing. Like when I seen a nigga riding around in a car with no shirt on with a gun talking about he about to come for a particular rapper, I'm like, nigga, what is you doing? Like you 50. With no shirt on, on the internet with a gun in the car, like quit, <laughs> like yeah, sit your ass down, little boy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. I just stay out of people's way like that. That's all. Yeah. Like oh yeah, I'm definitely, there. definitely. Just let me not even in it. let me not even get into that. Let man. that nigga talk. Don't all you worry about you it. Got man. it, boss yeah. man. Yeah, like yeah, you you got it. No, it's all you. It's all you. It's all you. Exactly. <laughs> all right. Uh, camera, camera, and Joe Button. Uh-oh. Oh, I don't shit. know enough about this. this Jason, I know you've been on it, man. Can you break that down for us? All right. Yeah. So this is what happened. <laughs> you remember last year when Nori and Joe Button, Nori was on a Joe Button podcast, mm-hmm. and um, they was talking about, yo, I love when niggas fail. Mm-hmm. They want to, one, you wake up, you pop up with a sports show, niggas got a cooking show, and they was laughing yeah, like, I, I love when yeah. niggas fail. Cam had did this version of his show he doing now, like four shows. Mm. Then his mom got diagnosed with cancer. He fell back off that. She died like a month, month and a half later or whatever. So to him, he thought like, y'all niggas making fun of me? Talking mm-hmm. about I failed at this, whatever, or whatever. So that was the first thing. And you know, him and Joe started going back and forth with little digs or whatever. So the second thing that come back around is they on the pod or they on their show talking about when they was younger 
him and Mace ran up in the whorehouse. And they took the girl from the whorehouse back to the crib. They ran bustos, blah, blah, blah. Mm. And then Mel was like, what if they was underage girls? And it was like, yo, why would, huh? Like, what What would made you think that these were underage women? or Because, you know, sex it's trafficking. A, it's a possibility. And, she insinuated it. Yeah, yeah but in this, in this day and age, you know, in this climate, to even Thank just you, insinuate that off of no pre, you know, it, it's like no circumstance or nothing just to throw that out there was wild as hell, though, for real. In 92? In 92. Them boys was, was kids. 92, we was underage. Like, yeah, them nigga, boys we was kids. wasn't even True. adults or whatever, but, like, for you to just to throw in some child predator, child traffic and shit on a random ass story on a sports show, why are you even watching this? If like we not we don't do that type of shit. It was just weird. And you know As a porn star. It's Cam. <laughs> yeah. And then, you know, uh, Joe Button came out there and said, like, you know, y'all niggas doing too much. You know, if you wanna sue me, you ain't got enough money to sue me and all this other shit. I'm like, okay. You know what bothered me about that whole scenario? What was that? She created that scenario. It's hypothetical, all of that, right? Mm -hmm. But they were so adamant about staying away from the Diddy situation. Mm -hmm. Very, very adamant. Very stood strong. Oh, we ain't touching that. We ain't got nothing to say. We don't know. But y'all laughed and y'all joked about a hypothetical situation, which makes it even worse because this is like, now you really got something against me. You put this out against me. But you have no energy for Diddy whatsoever, none. And mm. we when know. I, when when yeah. that shit came out in actual court document, yeah. man, with very detailed records, you don't got yeah. nothing to say. We ain't got the evidence. And they ain't, well, now, they, they wasn't wanna trying to. Like, fuck, well, I'll tell you why they wasn't trying to fuck up their money. Yeah, we know. Because, yeah, you know what I'm saying. See, that's the thing. Like, man, you, as a man, you just gotta have some type of integrity. rules about yourself, some integrity, man. Like. Yeah. It's a million ways to make money, so it's just like, bro, I'm not about to compromise my integrity. Like, but I mean, do you do you expect a nigga who wear a leopard pr leopard print um, fit mm -hmm. with some uh, sandals? I mean, Joe yeah. Buttons. <laughs> I, I kind of cut it off for, to talk about that, but Joe Buttons in general is what's the word that I'm looking for? Caddy, You're very mm. caddy, caddy, like very, fuck. very caddy, yeah, caddy, that's like, fuck. Mm -hmm. That's a very caddy nigga right there, like, boy. Yeah, yeah, bro, like you gotta chill, like. Yeah, man. It's just it's just and weird. Got on this pod, like y'all making fun of them, nigga. Y'all be liking the low class hoes, the low class escorts. Melissa messy. Ford is a high class. Like so, you say messy, bro. Like what? Yes. messy. Because because the video, I mean, because Cam <laughs> basically was like, yo, so you really just IT paid you two thousand dollars to fuck in the bathroom. Hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So you just agreed that Melissa Ford the escort. She's home. I mean, home. we all know that. We all know yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> to I pride mean, yourself so as a high class is crazy. Yeah, it's like, I, yeah, I whore, but, you know, not for cheap. <laughs> you know, it's I crazy. Getting fucked for two grand in the bathroom to get hit by iced tea? Yeah. Getting hit by iced tea is crazy. She's probably getting popped by colors playing in the background, that's, too. So. That's, oh, ooh, my gosh. Right. Now, that was, a, that was unnecessary. I ain't going to lie. That was unnecessary. Oh, man. Did you drink the 1800 or No, right. I didn't drink the 1800. Right, this shit horrible. Nasty. <laughs> nasty. Hey, Y'all picked the box, man. Y'all picked, picked the box. Not on purpose. But you put the options in the box. That's the problem. You, you, are, you set the play, man. That's yeah, I did. I did set the play up. But yeah, um, I'm with Cam on this shit, though, man. Because, yeah, good job. Just oh. in general, uh, Cam and Mace is funnier than Joe Budden. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, like, yeah. By sure. far. Yeah. Like, who the hell have you ever seen Cam back down from? I never laugh with Joe Budden. It's usually at I laugh at him. Joe Budden like a motherfucker. Like, some people <laughs> yeah. just got All the you. Time. Somebody got you on the roast meter, on the, 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 the going back and forth. People just got your number. Yeah. Like, Cam went directly and on the get punch meter too. Yeah. <laughs> man, nah, he gets he, get he punched, gets punched a lot. on more than most niggas. <laughs> yeah, man. that's, that's definitely a nigga that get punched a lot, dog. Yeah. Cam that with nigga. that mace. Cam mm. with that Jay Z. Jay Z fifty fifty. Uh, like and the thing and the thing is too, Mace Mace is a Mace, Mace is a funny motherfucker too. You don't want to go. Mace right, hilarious. Man. Yeah, Mace is fucking hilarious. I don't hurt them Harlem niggas is funny. Mace is hilarious. Argument like I don't think you're gonna win in the Joneses. With a nah. nigga who's I mean, they gonna start calling the nigga a dust head nigga, and then that's really gonna take off right there. Yeah. Oh, Damn. Man. 
Yeah, so let me. Yeah, you know, so no, you don't need no lemonade. Oh, you want <laughs> juice with your fucking quality tequila, nigga? <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> you, got, <laughs> you got the rest of us drinking. On Why are we in the fucking slums? <laughs> the basement. That right. ain't slums, nigga. That's good. This shit is terrible. That shit is good. I'm, I'm trying to get through this cup so I can get to the other shit. <laughs> this shit. <laughs> Look, I took a couple sips. I'm like, damn, it's still there. <laughs> This shit crazy right know. here. He knew he only needed a pint of that shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Oh yeah, I wasn't about to buy no fifth. They, 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 they at least they can get twenty dollars out of me, nigga. They ain't getting no fifth. You could have got a half a pint of this. They didn't. Shit. They didn't have a half a pint there. Uh, you could have got nine. You could have got no, no, a double. You could have just got that and just left it at that. <laughs> but I, I told her, man, if you want to do a game, you know what I'm saying. I told her that you shit. You said all tequila. You ain't say nothing about switching it up. You picked that. That's your fault. That's crazy. <laughs> you like it though, right? That's why I should have picked up the fucking the box. See, I was gonna put OE in there for you, but I didn't like nah. See, that, that would have been perfect. No, nah, I ain't about to put no O. Look, she drink old English, bro. I'm just letting you, you know that. You picked that. Shit. It's crazy <laughs> for a person who put the liquor in the box. I nah. just hate that. And, that, and he and keeps saying you picked that. No, nah, and that's what cancels everything is you knew which box yeah. had the good yeah, shit in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, low key, I didn't. I we didn't, didn't get no hints. Hey, I promise you, I didn't. This shit is in mm. a microphone. Mm. Headphone I, prom- box. I, I, prom- I promise you, I ain't know. I ain't know what was in that box. I know what we hint. we couldn't even pick the shit up like right mm-hmm. push the box a little bit as soon as he pulled that bag I knew that was eighteen hundred I, I just I just it. I just wanted chaos man like she you know. pulled domestic violence he pulled PPO out like <laughs> <laughs> fuck, fuck. <laughs> I just wanted it's chaos about to be a day. I just wanted right. chaos man we got some chaos right, right. now man so um, you got it yeah shout out to uh, I don't know man don't shout out to. <laughs> <laughs> Shout, shout out to I'm gonna shout out camera on nigga. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout, shout out to Cam. Yeah. No, not eighteen hundred though. Yeah, Don't say yeah, that yeah. shit. Man, no, nah, we ain't shouting out eighteen hundred. Unless they wanted unless to they be paying. a part of whatever group Cam, uh, Joe Buns was in. <laughs> no, nah, not at all, man. Why is the king of New York wearing John Cletus? <laughs> oh man, <laughs> he got open toe sandals. <laughs> <laughs> no, the funniest. No, <laughs> no, some of the, no, some of the funniest <laughs> shit though. Cam said this nigga Joe Button owns a drag clean because all he do is sign up washed up niggas. <laughs> wow. That's a good one. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Cam made the need to just get in the in the back and forth with man. No, uh, not know. at all, man. Not at all, He's man. Not. But you know, them niggas gonna stand on that shit. I guess, man. They said they with Melissa Ford. And I don't know why we do somebody. Flip. Everybody but Ish. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Ish wasn't feeling that Ish shit. Ain't say shit. <laughs> he ain't say shit. He's like, nah, bro. I'm good. I ain't standing. Yeah, ice bitch. Ice bitch ass, of course. Uh, <laughs> sided with him. So, but yeah, you know, it is. ice bitch oh, ass. Yeah. And that's that's a whole. That's crazy. That's a whole ass. Like that, man. That's a whole ass nigga, man. Oh, I don't, I don't even know him to know to even oh, I, care. Oh, I, I know, man. He a whole ass nigga, bro. Damn. He a whole ass nigga, man. But we gonna get off of that. Uh, damn, I lost my pipe. Uh, we gonna get into uh, Diddy. Diddy. Huh. Speaking oh. of Diddy, speak, I mean, you know what I'm saying? We gonna, we gonna lean Guilty. Yeah. Guilty. <laughs> Guilty. Uh, I tr- so I tried to find a list of the companies. I ain't feel like reading through that whole article, but it was it's like all good. Eight, it was like eighteen companies, and because whatever they say he did, he did it. Yeah, he done backed out of that. Yeah, they, they done, they're eighteen companies, nigga. Like, so y'all don't have like no doubt, like none. no none, man. Not a doubt. If I had to bet everything that I own and have to my name, I'm betting it. I'll be honest, man. I done hated Diddy for a long time, and like, I, it feel good. <laughs> That now people like Damn. feel the same way I feel Damn. about him and shit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it, it, it was crazy he was able to rob all these people and their kids of their nest eggs for all these decades, and it just it it it, it took Cassie to if come he, out. If he was white, we would call him a culture vulture. Yeah, yeah. hell yeah. yeah true. Nah, the, the culture's been vultured. It don't even matter. <laughs> But look, yeah, it took look, all the money. Shout out to Cassie. And look, he tried to uh, he like I'm gonna give everybody they publishing back and all the other shit. Like, nah, nigga. That wasn't enough, no nigga. It wasn't worth shit. Everybody about to get 1345. <laughs> 1345. <laughs> 1345. Quarter, quarterly. Quarter, quarterly. <laughs> Look at me, I done made motherfucking uh, $56 it's one over thing. a year. Mm. It's one thing if you start off and like you ain't just you just ain't know no better. You know what I'm saying? Maybe the calculations was off or some shit mm-hmm. like that. And somebody got a gripe with you. Somebody always gonna have a gripe. But everybody, dog. Everybody and then your and your your rebuttal is, well, y'all don't say nothing to the white man, or y'all don't say nothing to this person. Yes, oh, so you, man. I truly believe. Hey, they can't that say that this time. When we experience some fucked up shit, and then we turn around and do that exact same shit to our own people, like you worse 
than them. Yeah. Like, you and, 100% worse than them. And then, he, you know, he on there crying and shit, like, going on Instagram. Like, man, these accusations are false. I'm like, nah, nigga. Everything is real. Every day everybody say it's real, nigga. They can say you fucked the puppy, nigga. It was real. Nigga. So, <laughs> Whatever they say he did, yeah, he you did. You did that shit. I'm and take Aaron Hall name. with him. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Fight take my Aaron Hall my with him, man. please. Take Where you him. Gonna fight at? Oh, Instagram. Get him. Yeah, he get went on. Harpier. He went on Instagram. Harpier. He can get go to all. Him. Take it. Get him out of here. Go get Stevie J too. Fuck it. Yeah, yeah. you know uh, Stevie J got some skeleton clothes. Man, get him all out here, man. <laughs> he got some right, clothes, bro. If Stevie J has some money, he'll be in the suit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think it's a whole ass nigga, dog. Who? Gene Deal. Cause he on all these. His, yeah, he doing every interview. Yeah, he all is. these fucking interviews. Oh yeah, He's yeah. Like how fucking crazy. And you knew about this shit the whole time, man. Nah. Oh, she said she took the fan. He used to take footage from Kim Porter. He used to beat on his first baby. I mom. just wish a nigga with shit. some money and would you come out. Work the next yeah. day. I wish it got. I, I hate it has to be all these washed up niggas that's broke. Yeah, like you got Mike, out. you got Mark Curry coming out there like niggas yeah, like, like, like 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 the fake Mark Curry at that too. No, yeah, it ain't yeah, real. No, 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 no. Shout out to Mark Curry. Okay, here we go. Shout out to Mark Curry. Mark okay. Curry dropped the tell all book in oh seven. He did. He yeah, did he did. You know, yeah, he, he did. On, on camera, he was like, if anything ever happened to me, this is I'm not is. suicidal. I'm not nothing. It's this nigga. Well, we yeah. knew he wasn't suicidal, but he was also broken 07 too, though. Yeah. Like, he was already But I mean, I, and he hey, said, don't like, don't kept it that way. No, nah, but I, I, I respect him for standing on business consistently. But I just wish a nigga that was reputable, is all I'm saying. But like, he, so, you know, Puffy beef with uh, De Leon, everything was like, listen, mm -hmm. the parent company is not producing or, or promoting my product like the rest of these products. Mm -hmm. And Mark Curry said, that was my exact same reason for leaving bad boy like my nigga i'm writing all these hit records that's doing all these different things behind the scenes mm -hmm. and you are not promoting me like everything else i can see mm -hmm. if i had a bad product but i don't because i'm writing hit records hey look right. the only so the time same I, shit that you arguing with in court is the same shit i got an issue with the only time i heard mark curry was um on bad boy flag look notorious that's the only yeah. time oh i heard that God. nigga so yeah. look right but the other records that he wrote, oh yeah fire didn't fucking know fire that he wrote he, like, like muscle gang with uh, him and black rock fire you know what i'm saying so but you know what though it was crazy to me what up and how we know Diddy is a bad person when you really look at the artist and look at where G Dub went and turned himself in for a murder that he Crazy. didn't he was off of it for like 20 years to go and walk yourself into a goddamn precinct like yo I committed a murder 20 years ago lock me up I need to be put away that Diddy must have ran you crazy I mean look at Loon Loon is Loon just converted like converted. completely nigga, completely, completely bro completely I mean, like, look at Sean. That nigga's a whole fucking politician. Yeah, China yeah, politician. Shine. Got deported. Yeah, got deported. Yeah, yeah. Blocked block me on Twitter in the process, but yeah, you yeah, know. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> he had to free himself. Yeah, yeah, I kind of, I kind of earned that one though. <laughs> Look at I earned Rob. that. One. Yeah, like, black. Like if I made you millions and millions of dollars for your company and you a quote unquote billionaire, why the fuck I'm dying broke in the hospital? I'm dying broke in the hospital. You know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. you ain't got to take care of my lifestyle forever, but like. At least this how you gonna let me go bit. out? Man. Yeah. All the little subgroups from the Make It and Band, all them doing bad. I seen Rob on Instagram doing some crazy shit. It looked like in the hole in the wall club. He said, "Who?" Uh, Rob from Day Twenty Six. Ah, oh, shit. Yeah, man, that's crazy. I'm he like, came whoa. And all this shit, man. Nigga, E Ness is a battle rapper. Man. E Ness is still cooking, though. Yeah. He the only nigga out here cooking. Everybody else is not Just doing cooked. too well from that. <laughs> yeah, they cook like a motherfucker. They ain't yeah. cooking. They are the cooking. Yeah, Turning cooking. yourself in on the murder after getting off for 25 years. Look, I'm sorry, but I'm if I get off for 20 years, you just ain't you're done. Uh, I'm not that person no more. Yeah, I made my hey, man. Lord, I'm not telling. I've nobody. obviously been reformed. Bro. Obviously, to make it this far, he no, that's like, that's this. what happened when a nigga convinced you for twenty some years you don't need no money and you just like you know what fuck it. That boy had to I'm get about, away I'm from about, Diddy. I'm about to live off the system. Yeah, nigga, yeah. we we with Diddy, nigga, we good, nigga. I'm like, nah, bro, it ain't right. <laughs> <laughs> this shit is wrong, dog. Oh, you know, you know, take that, take that. Kim Porter family. <laughs> Is under the impression that he had a something to do with her death. I believe it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I believe, it's believe so it. much shit that this motherfucker involved in that we just give him Guilty. a pass because of. I 100 percent believe that shit. It's not man. because you make great records, because you don't produce the records, you don't write the records, like you don't do nothing but take all the credit and all the money and everybody. Who has a great story from Bad Boy? Nobody. Hmm. Not a Who's man is this? 
The only one I can think that never who can stay by who can be like, oh, that's my man. We go. I mean, his French ever said anything. I mean, you seen that picture with him in French though. Mm. Jog my memory. They was on the roof. What him French and it's not Lathan? Somebody, oh. no, nah, it was they was on the roof, nigga. Some it was it was yeah. Hundred know what I'm talking about. Being on the roof with Diddy is crazy. <laughs> exactly, yeah, just, exactly, nigga. But hundred know what I'm talking about though. Look at it his was face. Questionable. Look at his face. It was questionable. Hey, crack. Put the camera on his face when I say that shit, dog. Like it's not the 1800s. <laughs> not the <laughs> 1800 is bad, but that's worse. Yeah, that you was know worse. Know yeah, yeah. I, yeah, like you know. Yeah, Russell man. Simmons interview this week. Oh yeah. man, yeah. Oh, oh, he's another one. Picture. Like, why do yeah. you think this was the best time yeah. to have this interview? I was just thinking in my head, like, just come back to America. This motherfucker over here sitting. Indian style and shit, man. Like just barefoot and there. I'm like, it's bro. He guilty too. Yeah, he guilty as a motherfucker. Being pushy yeah, and actually pushing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he gu- oh he guilty than a bitch. No, but you see, he where he did the interview at. It Bali. wasn't in America. Bali, nigga. So he's gonna be in Bali. Bali. He ain't coming back. He ain't coming back here, dog. Yeah, he he's like he's seeing what's happening to Diddy. He's like, oh hell. He, he no. about to get he, Diddy. About to get, he about to get a uh, Diddy. About to be his uh, neighbor in a minute. Oh, Cause Diddy about to get the fuck up out of here, dog. Yeah. You think so? Hell yeah, Diddy about to get out of here. I think that nigga. I think <laughs> oh. his ego too big. Yeah. No, that KVD trial when that when that shit go on there. Yeah, Diddy out of here. Too much attention. Hey, you let you see he let KVD be broke as hell. Keith, Keith ain't had shit. Yeah, keep the well, up. That's why he was out there talking crazy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that nigga finna tell like a motherfucker. Just saying that, another uh, crime that was committed ages ago. That you just like, what is wrong with y'all? I'm gonna tell you, they gonna find big. They gonna find big killer in a minute too. Dog. They That's found true. him. They just ain't charged him yet. Oh shit, true. He and right now he going through a bunch of shit that he going through. Diddy has something to do with that shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's guilty. Can we say Diddy's a super villain? He is. Yeah, Diddy's a super villain, dog. Mm-hmm. A super villain, a real one. Homosexual super villain. <laughs> oh my oh, god! Freaky yeah, frog. That nigga is him from the Powerpuff Girls. He's a freaky Shut frog. Up. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Alexis Luther. <laughs> wow, that's the one. <laughs> yeah, that is. But yeah, man, one. shout out to Cassie though. Shout yeah, out to Cassie. Cassie Change man. in the world Change one lawsuit world, at a time. Hell we, yeah. The world appreciate you, Cassie. I want to talk to Kid Standing Cuddy. on business. You oh yeah, shout, yeah. Shout out Kid Cuddy. Shout out Kid. No shout out to Kid Cuddy. Nah, man. I I prefer. Talk to him. You want to talk to him? Cause like, yeah, let's. You yeah. let this nigga blow up your fucking. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, you let this. You ain't dropping this. Rapper you ain't shit. Nothing, bro. We just not finding out about nah. this. If a nigga blow up your car, do you really want to continue <laughs> yes. to do anything? No, yes, I want to smoke. Shit. You blew my nigga fucking blow car. car to just ride bikes. Bro, I'm a, I'll be on that bitch like nigga. You ain't get like nigga. I'm still alive. Man, I'm talking crazy. <laughs> I'm as a rapper. still alive. <laughs> They go my shot right here. From Cleveland, man, niggas in Cleveland be on some shit, dog. Yeah, like they probably upset. Like you, you ain't even telling. Well, he he making niggas in Cleveland look like they just be on bikes right now. He do. (laughs) (laughs) Shout out to my Cleveland niggas. My my Cleveland niggas would have stood on business. I ain't gonna lie. Not blowing the car up. Yeah, but between him and Bone Thugs, they looking real walking. I don't know, man. I ain't gonna. You know, they unhinged, Bone Thugs unhinged. I, I think they'd do something if they, you blew that car up. At least yeah, they at probably the would. Like, they, they was doing something. Busy? Yeah, yeah, bi- yeah he, if he they had a the mic at Cuz at the, uh, yeah. at the yeah. versus. No, nah, he did. He did. Yeah. I, no, I think if they, if they had a car, he would definitely shoot you if you blew it. Yeah, busy, yeah, busy, hell yeah, nah, man. yeah, yeah, busy, put, busy, busy would take you out. And he gonna tell him to denounce the devil. <laughs> <laughs> in harmony, wow. nigga. Yeah, in harmony, in harmony. Denounce the devil. In the name of Jesus, I rebuke you. <laughs> mm, mm, fuck, mm. busy. What the, what the fuck is happening? <laughs> I'm about to get baptized or something? Oh shit! <laughs> the kid, Cuddy, don't worry. The feds all, all over Diddy, man. Diddy, man. You could drive man. again. Ooh, yeah, uh, pull the whips back out. Yeah. Busy. Like he was kidnapped as a kid. I, yeah, he was. Ooh, yeah, that shit was yeah. A, a thing. No, he had some fucked up shit. Oh yeah, life. he was on America's. Uh, like he was an, on a missing America's yeah. Most Wanted, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. hell yeah. Uh, he that's that's some shit. You know, oh, that explains a lot for that for the evil shit that Easy E did to them. Mm. All that trauma they went through. Yeah, yeah. 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 He guilty too. Yeah, yeah. He yeah. said Easy E guilty. Yeah, he's guilty. Yeah, he guilty as a motherfucker. Yeah. Never worshiping ass nigga. Nah, what about Shug Knight? Oh, he, uh, you see where he at? <laughs> they already <laughs> <out> away. <laughs> Public opinion don't even matter for him no more. <laughs> the court court got his like, ass. Like, 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 hey man, no, you did nothing. Get the fuck on. <laughs> like, like, Yo, this podcast bounce. with Dave Mays though. That's fine. I like I, 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 it's it's, it's fire. It's fire. It's fire. Right. When he talked about right. Snoop being an industry plan. Mm. I was like, that shit makes so much shit make sense. Cause look at this nigga. That uh, death row was just a cover from money laundering. Mm. Cause look at this shit now. Snoop got ice cream out here now, dog. 
Snoop had a fucking uh, yeah. No, a nobody movie. cares. The bad news yeah. Yeah. Snoop has did a lot. Yes. I guess. Yeah. He the most uh, famous rapper ever. He the most famous rapper of all time, and murder was the case. Man, that nigga just like, think about it. Like he is a recognizable figure anywhere in the world. Like, that nigga, and the I, and man's I feel had like a show with Martha Stewart. Martha Stewart. Nigga, uh, and he go to Antarctica. And nigga be like Snoop Dogg. Everybody, it's Snoop Dogg. Snoop Dogg is smoking the White House. Yeah. Like, come on, my. Remember, Mike Epps said he helped him find weed in Iceland. <laughs> you have a I weed believe. man in Iceland, bro. That is, I believe a, it. That's a new level right there. Iceland, my nigga, it's crazy. Yeah, I don't know how the fuck that's even possible, dog. Man. Yeah, yeah. And it was a, you know, it was a lot of niggas that thought Snoop Dogg quit smoking like three weeks ago. Man, hey, that shit was funny. Was like, I'm gonna quit too. Hey, shot them. <laughs> hey, that nigga, heads. yeah, Meek Mill, meek, meek dog. <laughs> oh my god, god damn, meek, oh, man. Meek, man. Meek, man. Meek, man. I don't even that, wanna talk about that. Meek. Nigga trip on his face every chance he get. <laughs> every chance. <laughs> I want to be healthy. Huh? Big <laughs> Boy, I tell you. Smoking haze is not weed anyway, my nigga. So don't even worry about it. You straight. You all right. That's you're, funny. You're probably the king of smoking sour, dog. Yeah. So. <laughs> that shit, well, that shit ain't doing nigga, shit dog. to you, my nigga. You said what, Jason? That's a weird nigga. Oh, uh, me, oh, Meek weird as fuck. I, I, I did not want to get on Meek, but here yeah, we are. I hate that. <laughs> I hate that for him. Like, Hold I, on, man. Have you ever talked tough to a nigga when we seen you hit the heavy bag, dog? Oh, oh man. Like... What you, nah, gonna do to you need to go to the gym and do leg day too. All leg day. Don't even lift no legs. Hey, just all leg. They day. had that. Nigga do got some skinny ass. Hey, they put that post talk about some. Is these the same yeah, legs he was chasing dreams with? Bitch, <laughs> <laughs> like, course not. Legs. You ain't chasing dreams with them legs. You ain't gonna catch that dream, buddy. Man, man what the heck? Appreciates Meek Mill slander. <laughs> What's really funny is shit. Fabulous came out and was like, I don't know. If, I don't got no dog in the race, but thirty one thousand. Uh, Sales in the first month equals like forty five million streams or some shit. Do you see what Fab like, doing right now though? Like, that's good. Do you I'm see like, what Do you see what Fab doing right now though? I just oh, want people man. to realize that the first week sales ain't never been about how much money you made off the first week sales. Right. It's been about relevance. Yeah. Travis Scott this year did five hundred thousand. Drake did four hundred thousand. Mm. Um, uh, fucking. Rod Wave did 137,000. Yeah, next to uh, everybody lyrics. Fucking and he jumped off a balcony. He, did. <laughs> he committed suicide on the show. You, you mean to tell me that mm. artists established as established as Rick Ross and Meek Mills bringing both their fan bases together couldn't get over 31? That just means that people not listening to your music and, and you don't got the same relevance. E and exactly. If you don't got the same relevance that you had before, then you don't got no excuse for this trash ass music. And D one was right when he said you can do better, mm. because how you to face a criminal reform, and you got shoes that say reform on the bottom on the fucking sneakers, and then you rapping about getting the kids shot and killed and everything like nigga, which one is it? Hey, but look, mm. I'm gonna say one of these you lying on. <laughs> mm. I'm gonna say this about Fabulous. Why this is why Fabulous ain't been releasing no music and he been an Instagram thought. Mm. No, like for real, nigga. Like when that nigga, Go ahead. man, look. Did you see his last? No. Oh my God! Don't please don't show me that shit. But yeah, show me anyway. But please don't show me that shit. You don't want to see a tall, skinny of a half. See, so I look like fabulous. Mm. You know, Aunt, that in specific pictures. Hey, why, hey, why are you laughing? Dog? <laughs> <laughs> like, oh <laughs> no, hell <laughs> no! Posing like a bad boy. Oh wow. my God! Dog. Like with the person on. Like he legitimately standing like he a bad. Sh bitch. Show him. Show him. I want to. I want to hear his oh reaction. Look God. at his face. That's terrible. <laughs> this shit hurtful, man. Damn, fast. That nigga really made hurtful. breathe. He made breathe. That's, I can't. That's, that's, I, and now oh, I can't man. breathe. I can't breathe. Oh, oh man. man. Let me see that's the what? good tequila and not the bad yeah, tequila. Yeah. <laughs> After him. Did after you finish him. that shit? Yeah. yeah man. Okay, there you go. Congratulations, yeah, man. Yeah, man. I don't know Thanks. what in the grimace. Hey, play, the, play applause for Honey. He, he killed this shit. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, what y'all think about that video with him and Diddy telling him to come party with him now? <laughs> oh, 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 you already know what that was. Oh, man. You already know what that was. <laughs> come I mean, party with me, Daddy. Like, party, but you ain't really party with me. Hey, I mean, look, you ain't really party with me. It's scary, I mean, bro. I mean, look, like, Columbus you, short, look at Columbus Short, man. You know what I'm saying? Like that. Columbus Short. I feel like you really I would can't be mad trust nothing that nigga's saying. You, you really can't. You can't. I don't know, man. That nigga half ass crazy. I'd be mad if my name was Columbus Short. I think you should try it straight first. Shit. Hey, Rocky, finish your uh, tequila yet? Yeah, I finished it. Oh, yeah. yeah. It, tasted, it tasted like a, a washcloth you left in the, Congratulations, in the man. washing there, machine. There you go, man. You earned that. It's good. You earned that. Especially coming up to 18. Right. You earned that one, dog. Go ahead, man. Uh, <laughs> Terrible. You still got that shit in there? 
I'm not. This is gonna be here to the end of the show. Oh, I'm not mixing nothing with. The, I don't know what I'm drinking. You drinking? You drinking? You drinking cognac, man? And you know I've I've, I've never had Hennessy before. So. Mm. Well, you never had Hennessy before. You I've never had Hennessy. You ain't before. missing out on this shit. You all good. Hennessy ain't. It, you even, I wouldn't know the difference. It's worse than that. <laughs> Choose this, not this. Yeah, this, yeah, that, not this. I don't know what the fuck I'm about to do with that shit, man. But I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get it up out of here though. Uh, Just leave it here. Somebody. Mm-hmm. Gonna drink it. Oh. Nobody gonna drink that shit. Nah, somewhere, somebody, somebody, gonna somebody like, watching gonna be shit? like, "What? That's my shit." Yeah. Yeah. Lemonade, bro. You I, I still need the lemonade. Yeah, you still need the lemonade. Even for a nigga that don't know no better, just. Yeah. I mean, you should know better, though. I think everybody know better. <laughs> <laughs> Ant knew better. That's why he set it up. <laughs> <laughs> this, that was for shits and giggles, right oh, there. That even, I tried oh, to, I tried I just, to set, I, I tried to set Catalina up too, but she didn't show up. She got some, she lost her phone, so I don't know what the fuck happened. With yeah. Yeah. It's a blessing in disguise. <laughs> yeah. it's a blessing in disguise. She lucky, out. lucky girl, lucky girl. <laughs> All right, uh, iconic change in hip hop, man. Oh man, <laughs> let's get into it, man. Uh, yeah, so. This spawned off of um, we had a topic last week, man, where I said like you know everybody got the Rockefeller chain, but let me get the Junior chain. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's mm. wild. <laughs> I've never mm. in my life heard niggas say he wanted the Junior spin- chain. The he spinning the beer too. Yeah, that's that's been the one. It's yeah. a valid point mm. though. So after we did the podcast and you somebody asked Bucks me chain, like, what though. did y'all talk about? And I was like, oh, we talked oh, about, about the one that got snatched. Just Bucks chain in general. Yeah, that, yeah, we that were one. Talking hard. about. Yeah. Um, you know, the most iconic, like, groups mm. that had the chains, like, the chain you wanted to have in a group. Yeah. And they was like, nigga, they started naming off a bunch of different rappers, and I was like, fuck, we didn't even think about these mm. chains. So, I chose Rockefeller. That's of, a classic chain. It's of a course, piece. Top one. you know, Ant went with G-Unit because it spins. But I forgot I about fucking... No Limit chains. Cash money. Oh, it was. It was like the sure. square plated one and the most one with the like, tank. So yeah. I had one that was just gold mm-hmm. uh, because my money was just where the gold was at. Uh-huh. <laughs> and yeah. my brother had one that was gold with the diamonds around it. You uh-huh. feel me? Because yeah. his money was where the diamonds was at. <laughs> but like that no limit piece was like that, that no limit was, it was crazy. Yeah. The death row chain is fucking major. Yeah, that's I forgot cool. about yeah, Terror Squad. The Terror Squad. Yeah, Terror Squad did have a crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. It was nice too. And if we really want to be 100% honest, Mm-hmm. Like these giant big piece chains, it was Nas QB chain. That was the first nah. super duper. No, that QB chain. chain, the details. No, it was that, the it was crazy. The QB chain was crazy. But I just don't. I didn't. I never knew not a single soul in the world that was like, ooh, I need a QB yeah. chain. Yeah, but, like, <laughs> but the chains was like, you got to. But the dipset, the dipset nah, chain was the, my shit, bro. That dipset. We talked about nah, that QB too. chain was one of the first. Like he, he well, Nas was was yeah. trendsetter with that though. That had a cool chain. I mean, it was a cool emblem. But like, one yeah. chain, I, one Afro, chain. But that wasn't the one that was like cash money. You really yeah. wanted. No, no one one record chain record that was fire record. that nobody knew about was probably uh, Mac Ten chain. You had to, you could put the clip in that bitch too. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah that bitch was hard. I hate to say this, dog, because it's a legend, and I'm not trying to throw no shade, but like. Ice Cube was the first nigga that got his chain took, and like when then cause they who played in GTA out, took that shit. He he knocked him out and he had the and it's yep. the West Side. It had the W on whatever, mm. and like that was the first nigga to put his chain in the video, and like that started the oh I gotta get that nigga chain type shit. So he was mm. the first West Side nigga to get that chain yeah, snatched. That's unfortunate. <laughs> hey, <laughs> so would you consider Young Bird chain iconic? That's absolutely. <laughs> yeah, it's think about it, yeah. Nobody was wearing was pieces iconic. like that. Oh, well, that bitch is iconic was for iconic. sure. <laughs> that bitch was everywhere in Detroit, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't even know why y'all bringing that man up because he gonna catch a charge. Yeah, like, I'm you, you can look at his face. And see That's it. one of the greatest rebrands of all time. Man. It really is. Man. It Facts. really is. Facts. So, what's y'all favorite uh, iconic chain? What would y'all pick? Yeah. I mean that Rockefeller chain for me is yeah, it, man. It I just, yeah, I seen the real, I seen the real Rockefeller chain, and it's it's super dope. I I I put it on. Yeah, I felt like a groupie for ten seconds. <laughs> I took it off, but like you had to put it on. <laughs> like, like, like you had to put it on because like you know what I'm saying. Like the Rockefeller chain is fire. Not personally, because the one I actually had, is, and I still have one of them, uh, is a No Limit chain. That shit was amazing. Mm. Yeah, that no limit chain. Details in that motherfucker was crazy. I'm yeah. definitely going with the rock. Death Row chain is fire. Death Row chain is fire too. 
But Rockefeller made it a thing, though. But I fucked yeah. with Dipset Chain. Chaining though. Day? Yes. That, that, and that's why I said it, it was thing. the most iconic. Because, yeah. like, nigga, they did their chains on stage. And, like, uh, everybody, it was a moment. And that's why, why I, like, really when you say it. iconic, yeah, I just, it. I, mean, I don't think nobody could touch that moment that Rockefeller did with the chains. Like, mm-hmm. yeah. Chain I think day. that uh, Snoop like had the closest moment with the death row shit when he bought it and he brought it back out and he started rocking the death row chain yeah. again. But I mean, from a, an icon- <clears throat> iconic standpoint, it's the rock. It's the rock. But like back in the day, when you used to go to all the the jury stores and the, the, all the joints, they had all the rapper chains and they mm-hmm. had death row. They had No Limit. They had Cash Money. They ain't, they ain't have Rockefeller. Because I don't think because it wasn't dope, but that just wasn't really wasn't at in the early early nineties. Yeah, Kanye in two thousand was two thousand three. That's when that I'm his newest member of the Rockefeller team. Mm-hmm. That whole little thing happened. No, that, that was, was the most that. iconic moment yeah. for sure. I feel like the Dipset chain was pretty hard too. Oh, Dipset chain was yeah, fire. Yeah, for sure, it was fire. Yeah. That TS is fucking hard too. Yeah, TS is. is hard. That TS hard as fuck. I like oh, Met the Man's chain, the Ice Pick. I fuck mm-hmm. with that one. Yeah, that's uh-huh. actually that. it's on the list for like I yeah. think like top three most popular or yeah. most expensive. But yeah. I ain't never uh, seen nobody chain. outside yeah. of Terror Squad ever like rocking or wanting a Terror Squad. Oh my! You oh. Yeah, oh. hell no! Oh, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah, no. Edit that out. Yeah, we might edit that one out. Yeah, yeah. Don't, yeah, don't, yeah. yeah <laughs> you want, say that shit? Yeah, I can't. Yeah, that is crazy. Yeah, yeah. them niggas be looking for me like, hey man, what up? Favorite shit, man. Yeah, but nah, um, I like Jeezy Snowman Chain. Oh, yeah, yeah, that you was. You know what's surprising? Yeah. It's not on any iconic list of chains. I mean, nah, yeah. that chain ain't on nah. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's two different. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, because like, I'm glad you said rappers, it. <laughs> individual rappers who had sweet chains right. is different from like group chains. The, yeah. the group chains, the label uh, chains. Right. Yeah. I like, I, I like I love Gucci's Bart Simpson chain. That bitch was fire. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Got an iced out Bart dog. <laughs> yeah, that bitch was hard. And though. he never wore a fedora. He never in front wore of a fedora. Old ass oh, beret. Lou Duvall got a chain of a toilet. Who? Lou Duvall. Yeah, yeah, I don't know why he got that. Uh, iced he from out Jacksonville. Chain of an actual toilet because he yeah. can niggas apparently. He from oh, Jacksonville. Yeah, there you go. Country yeah. nigga, like, don't country fire. nigga. But yeah. he ain't a rapper. Well, he do technically drop a, a song He's every artist. year. I guess. Mm. But more importantly, he from Jacksonville. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> more, no, he right. No, he no, he he's hundred percent right about yeah, that one. And he low key been dropping a song every year, yeah. every since we known him. Oh, positively. Yeah. Shouts out to Jacksonville. And they go viral. Yeah. yeah. What about uh what about LL Cool J? He got some uh iconic oh, shit. No. <laughs> <laughs> Big LL. Like, I don't even know if he got a shot. He had a microphone, didn't he? Or is it? Oh, he did had a mic. He did had a mic. I think Cool J look like he ain't got no ears. He don't. <laughs> he don't. I, I think no good. When I think no good, Man. no good comes to my mind when you think that is like a shark man. Yeah. That, man, that nigga, that nigga made head sprung, man. So, you know, Shout, out to, Fox, man. Shout out to Jamie Foxx, man. Shout out to Jamie Foxx. Shout out to Jamie Foxx. Did you say that that head sprung was originally for Will Smith? It's for Will Smith, yeah. Now mm. make me sense yeah. why he called it no, so okay. big. Okay, that made me like LL Cool J because I'm just glad I didn't have to hear. Hear Will do that? I ain't even gonna lie. I think I, I would have rather heard Will. Yeah, yeah. I, I would have heard it more sense. Yeah. I would have preferred he never said he was yeah. Big Ellie. Big know, Ellie is the worst thing. He that probably would have said Big Willie. That's what he oh. was gonna say. Pause. Oh. Yeah, that's not. Well, good. she said it. <laughs> so <laughs> technically, it's not pause, but it just <laughs> sounded crazy. So I'm gonna say pause. <laughs> it don't get when no, you heard it. You it don't pause. get better. <laughs> yeah, I heard it in my head, and I'm like, whoa, pause. Pause. I shouldn't think that. Pause like a motherfucker. So we'll, so let me get this. What would y'all what would be y'all like like what would y'all chain be like exactly? Like if y'all if I seen your I seen your chain, bro. I know it's a I seen your shit. Me. You know what I'm saying? I was gonna say, man, because that, that, that big RTL. Yeah, that bitch hard. 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 I'm regular day, you know I, mean? I ain't never thought of a chain, bro. Just give me the money. Put that the big shot, cloud in there. Yeah, of course. Yeah, it'll be a cloud. Big cloud in there. The biggest the cloud. You hey, you, you got like about 15 chains in your crib, nigga. So what you no, got? I got mm, um, I'm on a cheeseburger. <laughs> I want a cheeseburger with all, with all the color stones, like just a, a 3D. Cheeseburger. Why? Why? Huh? I need like another backstory. I do. Backstory. I do. But I just always I want. I just always want one. 
I got love cheeseburger. You want a cheeseburger chain? I want a cheeseburger chain. I actually had a double chain. cheeseburger before I walked in. Did you? <laughs> I did too. Unfortunately, it was supposed to be a triple cheeseburger, but we're not gonna get into that. <laughs> All that beef. That's crazy. A cheeseburger chain. <laughs> yeah. It's innovative, but it's crazy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mine's would be the Fomatic chain, of course. Big you know what I'm Big Fos, you know what I'm saying? I'd definitely be that. What I'm the, mad at uh, everybody on their second cup when I can't I'm get through this fucking. <laughs> better finish that shit Don't up. Don't be man. mad. It's Hennessy. You good. Yeah, you better finish that shit up, man. Might drink that cup. Y'all want to drink? Y'all want to drink? You, you want to drink, bro? It's eighteen hundred over he here. Said, Hell no! I see you, what you want. Eighteen hundred. <laughs> <laughs> big, hey, big skull in the building. Yeah, big skull in the building, man. Yeah, yeah. Chill, yeah. chill outside, yeah. sleep, man. He had a long deal, night, buddy. man. My boy, chill, had a long hey, night. Hey man, look, do you want? Uh, what you want, bro? You want? I don't do you. Hey, hey, hey let's go. You want this? You, you want? Yeah. That. Give him that one. Give him that one. Right now. Don't drink no eighteen hundred. <laughs> Honey did that, bad. so hopefully you don't have to go through that. Man. Yeah, the white Hennessy is good too, man. The white Hennessy is good too. I'll open it for you. It's up you. for debate. He won't Reposado. Yeah, give us a Reposado real quick. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Reposado. Yeah, the Reposado is very. It's definitely underrated, Sco, man. Yeah. Sco, you ain't come RTL, man. He ain't come big RTL today. Damn, oh, it's off. It's Sunday. Damn. It's through. Sunday. He probably walked through this joint. Was like, oh yeah, I'm glad I didn't. Yeah, for sure. It's, it's real for gentrified sure, outside these <laughs> doors. <laughs> man, I used yeah. to wear a whole bunch of jewelry and shit. I got, I got robbed though, and my homeboy got shot Damn. in the face. Mm. What? Uh, God bless, he made it. But after that, shit. that shit just was it like less it. important to yeah, me. Yeah, it changed the dynamic. And I felt like it was my fault that mm. we got that he got shot because like, you wouldn't have been in the situation. Yeah, because like I just had a, I used to just wear a lot, so good. that shit just got unimportant to me mm. quick. No, I feel that. No, I understand. But I still got some. Oh, yeah. Hey, no, no, I, I, I feel you, man. Fucked up. I still got my jewelry, nigga. <laughs> nah, because it, it, it definitely attracts a different type of attention. I, I had a similar situation in the back, uh, you know, in the past. You know, nigga lost some jewelry. It just made me double up on niggas and come back harder. Mm-hmm. For sure. Definitely. All right. So, before we get into Hunter's interview, Asia. You want to get to my moment now? No, no, the Nick. I want to play a game with you, Asia. We're just a... <laughs> No, this Nicki Minaj album. <laughs> oh man! All right, let's do this. I have not heard the album. Look, uh-huh. but I want to recite some lyrics that I'm pretty sure is on there. All right, hit me. How many times uh-huh. did she say, "Bitches is my son"? One time. <laughs> just one time. One time, nigga. Out of 22 songs, just God, one time. 20 22 songs. It's 22 songs. What in That's the like young Jeezy? <laughs> Jesus, pretty nice. Jesus, Anthony Christ, man! I hate in unison, y'all niggas was like twenty two songs. Yes, Auntie. Songs. How many times did she say my pussy is? Or you know what? To her having good pussy. Forty four times. I want to say, I'm gonna do a reach, and I'm gonna say two, but really, I know for sure, for sure, one. Hmm. She made sexual references, but hmm. not necessarily like my pussy. How many but times I mean, did she tell somebody to suck her dick? Not at all. Oh, thank God. Yes. Thank God. <laughs> they can say, yeah. But bitches is it's a small win. You, yeah. you got to celebrate. You got to celebrate time. small wins. One time. So how do you feel about this album? I fucking love it. It's That's album of the year. Album of the year. Damn, it's album crazy. of the year. Have you heard Killer oh. Mike's album? I have. Ooh. I have. And I like it. I like Killer Mike. Mm. However, mm. I would not say it's album of the year. Damn. Because I feel like that's album of the year to people who are predominantly Killer Mike fans. Yeah, I agree. But I feel like to the huge, broad. They don't want to hear that shit. That you think Nicki Minaj the goes out to. broad artist is a Nicki Minaj fan? No, like, that's not like, what I mean. Oh. I just mean she has more listeners. Yeah. The barbs. That's, that's all. Yeah. Le barbs. But like quality of the, like, the material. Content. Oh, see. Okay, so I will say this. Nominated for a Grammy, by the way. It is. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> mm. So you, you're not going to like to hear me say this, but Killer Mike is a very um, say consistent one-trick pony. Whoa. He yeah. does what he does consistently, but it's always the same. This album does not sound like anything he's ever produced or anything that's ever been released. I see, but I feel like that, though. This is not like, oh, like this nigga got a whole new flow and it's different. I expect to hear that album from Killer Mike. You don't think so? 
Mm-hmm. I felt that way. Because mm-hmm. he, he ain't released a solo album in over 10 years. And his, Very long time. His Run the Jewel shit sounds totally different. It it's does. Like some but when he's by himself, it, I, this, that's what I expect from him. It was still a great body of work. Let me ask you this. Did you get anything new or different from the Pink Print 2? No. What, what's the name of this I album? I thought it was Pink Friday. Pink, it's Pink Friday. Too. Really? Yeah. I was being facetious. <laughs> <laughs> it's Pink Friday, too. It's no. two. You was right there with was, the two in the pink. Shit. There was nothing new. But I thought it was just, I was just being funny. No, it was Pink Friday, too. <laughs> but that's what I needed from her, though. The same shit? I didn't want her to sound like everybody else that's out right now. I'll be honest with you. This is my issue with Nikki. Mm-hmm. She's a 40-year-old woman. Mm-hmm. And I need something different from you. Auntie. Uh, TT. Like, like if, I would think if, that's if, who. Like Jason. as a man, a forty-year-old uh-huh. man. What do you want to hear from a forty-year-old woman? Different than bitches is my sons and my pussy is. And I think that's why it was only one time. As to where we get ten tracks from her, and eight of that is going to be her saying that four times on every song. Mm-hmm. As to where she did a little something for everybody on this album. Okay. You heard old Nikki because she don't. Her last few projects or them singles, I'd be like, what the fuck is this shit? It sounds very forced. Mm. But this album, you heard a lot of old Nicki. You saw her do. I heard that song, Everybody Was Fire. It's dope as fuck. It's a bop. I believe she can rap when she rap. Mm -hmm. When she rap, when she talk her shit, she talk crazy. I believe that. And she did that. It's one of the greatest verses I've ever heard rap. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like. Yeah, she walked that down. She walked that down. So I know she got the skill and she got the talent, Mm -hmm. but like. It'd be hard for me to, to, to believe that people get in the studio and be like, this is what they want to hear. Mm-hmm. And But I, I think that's what was better about this album, that it wasn't just... I, I expected her to sound like all the new bitches. That she was going to force herself to sound like the fucking... The Ice Spices and the Sexy Reds. Like, that's what I was like. She about to do this shit and it's about to be terrible. That's what I was expecting. But when she said, okay, everybody is... She threw her TikTok song out there. That's everybody. She do a, like, this is old Nikki rapping, probably five songs. She did something, the crossover for the pop kids. She did a, a little bit of, uh, like, for example, Pink Print was a very emotional, vulnerable, honest album. A little R&B-ish, almost. She did songs I'm like that. I'm going to give it. You making me want to listen to you it. You should, though. Because this you hear a lot of this shit that's like, okay, here she go with Bitches and My Sons. But she also did something versatile. It's, it's something on there for everybody. And that's why I fucked with this. I mean, with 22 songs. I mean, it's, you, you got to have... Twenty, and it was, it was... I want to say it's like four throwaway so. songs on there. Yeah. It's like four where I'm like, okay, I could never listen... I don't ever need to hear this shit again. But out of 22 songs, I put eight on a playlist. Uh, yeah, that's eight. Good. That's, that's 25% of the album. Yeah. Yes. So on the playlist is like... Is not, no. I like the rest of the album, but songs I want to hear consistent every day. rotation, I can choose eight songs. That's what's up. I can choose eight. Yeah, but I get that. I'm going to listen to it. You know I think you should listen it, to it. I'm going to give it a fair shake. But I know you listen to predominantly female artists. Mm-hmm. And, of course, you're going to say that shit sound really great. So, like, the mm-hmm. average person, how many songs you think out of those 22 that they going to like? Two songs have already had radio play, which is Ruby, Red Slippers, and uh, that, what was it, Freaky Girl, Super Freaky Girl. I don't know why people like them two songs. I don't give a fuck about them. But outside of them two, I want to say it's about five more. How many of the Killer Mike songs you think they listening to? I don't know. Scared of Hoes music, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love that Killer Mike album, though. Oh, really Scared of Hoes That's crazy. music. That he's don't put that shit on the way on the date. Just saying that right now. You can listen I don't to it know. alone. You, know, you, want, you want to know my album of the year is? Don't say nice. We're waiting. Because we started Please don't say In Nas. October you said Nas It was Andre, October Andre 2000 music Oh, oh right. <laughs> We about to meditate about that album. Man. Like, you said what? We about to meditate huh Like some sage I turned that shit on Before I went to sleep Oh nigga I eat a gummy nigga and I, go, I eat like, a gummy not, And I'll, like, I'll play like, that shit Nigga purpose. I'm sleeping Nigga I'm, in, I'm on a cloud Nigga for real That's that crazy shit is terrible. <laughs> That's crazy That shit is terrible But no it's some real shit though man Like as far as album of the year man It's hard for me dog Because it was just What's your album music say? I got album of the year Oh yeah, 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 yeah. We gonna, yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't got no Grammys though. Emma's uh, son. What's your Emma Apple son. replay say? 
Nigga, it said Gucci Man, dog. So I was like, it's like, what album you listen to the most this year? Gucci Man, that's really shit, no album chicken, chicken Talk. You know, what I was listening to Chicken Talk. You know, what but new. Okay, I was about to say because yeah. I know it wasn't no, no, that no, new. No, 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 no. I knew it wasn't that new. It was the nigga. It was the nigga that had the belly. Nigga, it was that Gucci. Yeah, it was that Gucci. Drake prison releases. Seven forty-five, nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So nothing new. Put his ass in the dirt. Yeah, it was seven forty, seven forty-five, dog. Like it was nothing new this year. I don't. And then also, I say album of the year because it's me and. We're talking about this compared to what came out this year. Yeah. I will call it album of the year. There was nothing dynamic that happened for me in music. It, wasn't it was a like lot. every time we had to talk I'm about. Re- I'm about to revisit. I'm about to revisit some shit, man. Music goes so fast that it's yeah. just hard. Exactly. To even. It That's wasn't. A, it wasn't a lot of shit. Though. It wasn't. I mean, I niggas. Niggas was trying. Niggas was trying to say Gunna album. I'm like, yeah, I enjoyed the fuck out of Gunna album. I did. I did. I enjoyed the fuck. I did. Most of any. I enjoyed it. I definitely listen to Gunna more than I listen to Nicki Minaj album. Wow, well, hope or so. Killer Mike. I didn't listen to Nicki Minaj album at all. So I'm I didn't listening. listen. I listened to Killer Mike, but I didn't listen to Killer Mike. I as definitely much as didn't Gunner. listen to Killer. Killer Mike can rap better than Gunner though. Don't get me wrong. For sure. Don't get yeah. me wrong. Yeah. Don't take it as I'm. You know, it's just yeah, sure. no, not man. The album Nas dropped this year. Please stop. Because one minute we gonna you leave say Nas out you of this right enjoyed now. this nigga in these past two years. King Disease Three was his best minute. album. King Disease Three was his best album. I was so like, I'll, be, I'll, be, I'll be understanding what niggas say, but like, listen to your. I don't know what y'all use. I use Apple Music, right? So mm-hmm. your Apple Music replay or your Spotify replay, like that tell the real truth. I listen to a lot of R and B, so it really don't tell like, me like, shit. Who your favorite artist? I mean, look, niggas say Jay Z, but like you listen. Ain't had to no Jay Z in other replay. person mm-hmm. more. Hey, look, man, I'll, I'll say this much, man, because I went to my because I was listening to more YouTube music than anything. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I listen to mixtapes and all that other shit because a lot of the shit don't be on the um, streaming sites. Yeah, nigga, I was, nigga, I look, I did, I did my year in review for YouTube music. Nigga, my shit was mob deep. Like I was zero point three percent of mob deep. <laughs> like, and that's consistent. Yeah, but uh, everything was all R and B for but me. But look, but they said, nigga, like, they said my shit was crying on the dance floor music. I was sad. And I'm like, <laughs> damn, nigga, like, y'all niggas just exposed the fuck out of me. Right. Shit. That's what most niggas you listen to. Shit. Like everybody say what they what they supposed to like and what they ideal of. What I should like, but like what you actually like and listen to, that should be different. So for Spotify, for me, it was finesse two times. <laughs> what? <laughs> the nigga that beat his brother up. <laughs> Wait a minute. The nigga that just got us beat his brother beat up. Wait that a minute. Who? I need to drink some more eighteen hundred. <laughs> What's happening here? Who? Nah. <laughs> Who what the fuck? I listened to Stud people. two times. And that's All two the time. Times? That's crazy. Mm. Man, that nigga gets you in the mood. Oh, I'm, I'm uh, not going to ever find out. Finesse. I'm never going to find out. I'm never going to know. When I listen to him, none of that shit never sound bad. That just never my Just know he came up. He came up off that whole money. The hustling flow money. It sounds like prison. I mean, look, because he be. That's what I get. The nigga rapping on the yard. in the mood for. For prison like shit. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I don't ever want to get in the mood for that. Yeah, well, no, nah, <laughs> nigga, for that two times. Hey, if you've been to jail, you just don't. Yeah, it's like, nigga, like you just a Casanova over there, yeah. ain't you? <laughs> <laughs> shit. It's exactly why I listen to R and B. Like, getting you, getting you in the mood for, for prison, prison activities. Man. Crazy, <laughs> scary, <laughs> nigga, you scary uh, fucking hours. Man. That's that Hennessy. Hen the man. Oh that man, that's definitely, that's that, that, it's, it's definitely that hen, dog. It's definitely that hen. <laughs> it's that Hennessy for that sure. Hennessy. I was, I was not <laughs> expecting from that. Um, Melly and fucking finesse two times. Like it's this, it's the same. Melly who? Melly. It's a female rapper. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Um. But she yeah. gonna say that after everything. She, it's no, that's rapper. good. If it's a female rapper, it's good. As long as it's not an acronym nah. in front of that, I'm okay. Yeah. I'm like, okay, I'm worried about her now. Like one of my, like one of my I'm top, worried. like one of my top projects I listened to this year was um, "Free Bricks" by Gucci and um, Future. Yeah, yeah, that was my shit back. That was my shit, man. I loved that. I loved that project, "Free Bricks." Yeah, yeah, that was, yeah, that was, that was a decent. Project. Yeah, that was, I fucked up. You said who? Cannabis was in my top ten list. <laughs> That's What's outrageous. Going on, man? <laughs> look, look. Lyrical spiritual miracle metaphysical. Hey, look, man. Look, cannabis is his favorite rapper, dog. Cannabis Shit. your favorite rapper? No, but look. So my top artist this year was Nas, Kendrick, Killer Mike, J Cole, Jay Z, Killer Mike. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Those my top five albums was Killer Michael, Mike, Victory Lap, Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers, Michael Deluxe, and then Godson. <laughs> 
Not Michael Deluxe. Not Michael Deluxe. Yeah, I listen to Godson a lot. That's crazy. Okay. Mm. Then number six is Magic Two. Cannabis seven, cannabis eight, <laughs> B I G T. I mean nine, and then my beautiful dark twist, my beautiful dark twisted fantasy ten. Fire ass album. Cause like when like yeah, when all the new music come in, you have to get that shit to listen. But then you just go back to like I you know, go back to, back, usual. back to the usual. That longevity. Yeah. Hey man, look man, seven forty five. Oh, that was my that was my year. Seven when I look in the mirror. <laughs> seven forty five. Say mirror, mirror, mirror. 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 <laughs> that's crazy. Do I smell pussy? No, nah, that's Jeezy. <laughs> like nigga, that was. Yeah. That was my that was my year though. More like a snowflake. <laughs> Lord Jesus. Damn. Hey, Man, I used look. to listen to that, and I used to listen to Ice Attack too. <laughs> oh, Ice Attack. I had Ice a, Attack I, no, too. Was crazy. I, I had a townhouse, Ooh, bro, and then I had like a walk-in closet type shit, and I used to sit in my shit, get high as fuck, and listen to Gucci. Man, dog. Unhinged. Dog, my crib right now, nigga. It'd be fucking Gucci. It'd be uh, Young Dolph. Know what I'm saying, and then it'll be some um, be some mob deep in the middle of all that shit. Too. I changed now. I'm a little um, softer side. Of yeah, yeah. I'm it's too much rap. Rap is chaotic. Yeah, I mean, it's very chaotic. I mean, nigga, chaotic, nigga, they gave me a cover art for um, they gave me a cover art for um, YouTube, nigga. It was a black rose, nigga. I'm like, that's nigga, that, I'm like, yeah, damn, that's crazy. That I'll shit. What though? Uh, before noon, I don't want to hear a nigga talk about fucking my bitch or shooting None of that shit, uh, man. I woke Please. up to Tony Braxton like, this morning. Yeah, you got to wake right up now. to some art, some, some, some soft, man. I, don't know, man. I I can't do it, dog. I woke up to. Uh, niggas want to tell you about, nigga, I'm a kid. The quality you of your day would be better if you just mm-hmm. listen to something. Nigga, I, was, I, woke up to, I woke up to Gucci Man, hold that thought, nigga. So it was just like. Damn, hold that thought. Hold that thought is wake crazy. Up. Wake up. <laughs> that's a classic song. Yeah, it's a classic I, song. It make all the sense why you picked the liquor you picked. Nah, 1800. That. We that's, got the story now, y'all. <laughs> no, nah, that's eighteen hundred theme song. I ain't yeah, gonna yeah. hold cooking that, up, thought, hold that thought. Cooking up a cake like I'm doing up a performance. Yeah, that was, that was me, dog. You know what I'm saying? So that's crazy. Yeah. Oh, what shit. did I wake up listening? To? Oh no, Atlanta Barrage, Urban Floor. What did you What did you wake up to listening, to, um, Asia? On my wake up playlist for songs out of state, mm. and it, you know. I mean, you know, sometimes I listen to Paramore when I wake up. Sometimes, you know what I'm saying? Paramore, I need to hear yeah. violence when ain't, I wake up. Ain't it fun? <laughs> <laughs> Another look. What's wrong? What's up? Where, what's going on? Be, you want to talk about it? I be listening to songs. You be going like, to the gym? I don't want to hear no words. No, it sometimes. just it get me motivated and and moving. You can't be waking up in the morning choosing hate. It's not good. <laughs> it's mm. not necessarily it's hate. It's violence. It's violence is aggression. Hate. Yeah. I I have to have that. I got a bunch of playlists with just instrumentals, no talking, no me music. Too. You know what I'm saying? So, which is why I fuck with Andre 3000 shit. Oh, I was going, I was going to say that you beat me to I it. I throw that shit on in the background at the crib or some shit. Got some candles lit. I'm cleaning the house and shit. You know what I'm saying? Them frequencies, like, all right, cool. I got a playlist. Sometimes yeah. I want to hear some, frequencies. Mm. Sometimes you know what I'm saying. I want to hear some kicking the dough shit. And then sometimes oh yeah, kicking the dough by Biggie. Yeah, that's what that's on my playlist too, dog. No, I'm talking about it's, it's uh, hella just aggressive in general. On this podcast. In general. <laughs> hella aggressive. About to pull a kick dough. I love love. I'm sorry, y'all. Oh, man. <laughs> I love love. I love love. All right, Dang. everybody <laughs> love everybody. Right. I can't, anyway, I can't shout out to Nicki Minaj. Go play the album. Shout out to Nicki. Shout, shout out, out to Nicki, man. All right, man. Uh, let's do your moment, man. Uh, like, okay, you so. know what? Can I can I play the song for your moment? Uh, I, I can play that song. You can play a song. Oh my god! Oh, Go ahead. Shit. It's gonna make you feel better. Yeah, play yeah, that fucking make me, song. Yeah, it's make sure. And then let's moment not ever. Hell no. Nah. I mean. I mean that. I mean you miracles moment. No I'm moment with miracles. Uh oh, play the song. Mm. Oh yeah, you already know what it is, man. <sighs> one of the greatest. One of the greatest Gucci projects. In your opinion. <laughs> Yeah, he know, he know. Burr. Yeah, he know, he know. It's a motherfucking miracle. It's a motherfucking. You did not say you was gonna sing along. Yeah, to a whole one. And it's a motherfucking miracle. Boo to the lions, that is. Yeah, definitely boo to them niggas. Who's in Chicago? It's crazy. It's a motherfucking it's a miracle. Motherfucking miracle. <laughs> miracle. It's a miracle. 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 Oh, that that moment. Oh, that moment with miracle. In that moment, moment, moment with miracle. Moment miracle. Moment right, miracle. So, for my moment, um, right. I'm sure everybody's heard about it by now. Um, so Ruby Rose posted some text messages she had with one of her number one spending fans on only on uh, OnlyFans. So at some point before she met 
this fan, he had spent up to $30,000 before he met her. And then after he met her, he spent an additional $63,000. So in total, this man has spent almost $100,000 on her on OnlyFans. He's one of her biggest contributors slash sponsors. Um, and then he tattooed her face on him. And if you look at the tattoo, she has like a shirt on and it says number one spender on the fucking shirt. He said the tattoo under took the jail. three. Put him away. <laughs> under said, the jail. Put his ass away. in the dirt. Put him away. What's he the time said it took him three to hours to get the tattoo done. Um, and of course, she posted text messages of him just kind of like, we belong together, you're the love uh, of my life, uh, shit like that. Uh, uh, and it looks uh, like illegal. she's not responding. So, it's illegal. damn. This nigga is definitely a weirdo. But, Something. like, I want to know what y'all think about this shit. Could you imagine spending $90,000, over $90,000 on a woman that you're not with, not even dating, you're just a fan? Ain't uh, no fucking way. Put him away. Uh, no first off, way. hell no. What I did you say? Put that. him under the jail? Under the jail. Basement. Mm. Let me Basement. Ask, hold on. Let me ask everybody else. Would you? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Is it what? No. I already know you wouldn't. Sko, no. Sko, yeah, yeah, Sko, Sko, Sko looking Sko, like you yeah. would spend ninety three thousand on some nigga. It on could some be thought. Nine hundred dollars. I ain't even say it's no cooter because he just got a thought. Crack. I already know you said no. Oh. Yeah, he's <laughs> shaking his head. No, like it's not ninety dollars. Ain't no fucking way, man. Oh my god. Put him under the jail. Yeah, that, yeah, that nigga's. Yeah, he's a he, is he away. just a creep because he spent money? No, he's no, a serial he's a, something. He's a, he's a something. serial something. Anytime a nigga send you message, premeditated. Talking about we belong together. <laughs> it's some premeditated shit going on right this there. Nigga, this is gonna be on Dateline twenty twenty. You think so? Yeah. No, nah, fact. A, Give it some time. A, 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 a made for TV lifetime movie. Give it, it some time. Around. And here's the scariest part about yeah. this motherfucker. He made his money off crypto. Mm. So yeah, Bitcoin. Yeah. So yeah, he got that. He got flying bitches out for that scat play. Yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying. He a the freaky weapon? fraud. Give him some time. Oh, it's gonna, it's, it's gonna hey. pop up. Oh my god! If you here listening, weird. whoever my man's is, if you listening, with that ninety three thousand, you could have did a lot better. You could have did better. so much better, man. You could have you could have invested shit. that shit, nigga. You know what I'm oh, saying? Man, I, I got some plays for you on the floor, nigga. If you want to do that shit, you know. I was gonna say this. This was probably changed to him, like. You know, if you got money to give your mic, away. Your mic. Mm-hmm. No, it, no, no, it had dropped down. Yeah, it dropped down. There Technical we go. difficulties. Yeah. Got, the mic had got his eagle on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mike really wanted to check out this conversation. Oh, man. <laughs> Buddy, freaky as hell. Freaky. I'm done. <laughs> so, okay. Do. So, as unanimously in you the. Got a um, tattoo of her? Yes, of her uh, face. Boy, that's crazy. You haven't seen it? That's crazy. No. Yeah, he got a tattoo of her face. Said it took well, three hours. This is not this is not the kind of content that be on my timeline. <laughs> not, I can see that. Neither. My my timeline has everything oh, on it. I need to see everything. It was in my algorithm, but I, I, yeah, it, I, I it, felt it, bad definitely, for him. It definitely is in my fucking algorithm, for man. Like for real, dog. Hold on, one more person. Hey, bleed. That nigga in his own. Yeah, in his own right yeah. now. Just look at him. In the zone. <laughs> you got this. <laughs> that shit ain't happening. No, that nigga, yeah, he, he called it like a motherfucker, man. Long, long story short, he spent 93000 and he ain't even hit that fuck. Put him away. Nah. Yeah. Put his ass in the dirt. And at put this point, away. he's not going to. He's so. not going to. Because yeah. he's giving hella, be like put all hella all creepy vibes. Away. Let me ask you a real. question. If a nigga that spent $93,000 on you, don't you feel that she did? She owes him better customer service. <laughs> like, you got to respond to my nah, nah, I ain't even going to lie. She don't. No, nah, she, she don't. She like, don't. that's the thing, man. No, 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 I, I didn't tell you to do this Jason dumb ass has shit. If she. A point. Okay. If you, if it's a I business spent, for her. He said it in those text messages. I've spent, before I met you, I spent over $30,000 and mm. you won't even respond to me. He's going to give her 400 k after that I shit. Mean, My but, thing is, like, nigga, if you're spending that much money, you Hell, your I'm, service you're together. gonna be the first fucking text message I respond to. That's but but also when he says that, you should know he's crazy. Yeah, you got it. Like you. But do you let it even get that far? Flat out, you shouldn't. You shouldn't. You're right. I mean, if she, you he shouldn't have had her phone number. No, he That's shouldn't have. One. Flat out, he shouldn't have had her phone number. Maybe she tried and then she realized that he weird that as fuck because then block him spending that 
that amount of money, that spending nah, that amount of money. If I spend it, because but it's a business. Money, it's a business at the I'm, end of the I'm day, right? Yeah, it's a business. So yeah. at the end of the day, Thanks. she's gonna, you know, I'm sure this is a, a, a throwaway phone number that she's giving niggas that done spent certain amount of money. So I, I mean, get that, but at the I same mean. time, in real life, as any man, you should realize, and I'm not even talking OnlyFans or any of that shit. If you spent five hundred dollars a thousand dollars on a female she knows whether or not she's gonna do anything simple mm -hmm. so my nigga you're a fan yeah, you're fan. buying content be happy with what you paying for you're That's buying you, you got what you paid for Period. You and then, so because you know i like to play the devil's advocate well, of course you do um we like to call it white devil's advocate where i'm from damn I'm just saying for I like 90, I'm sorry he using that. 90, he could have booked a jet on her ass. 90, he he could have did so much with he 90. He could have booked a jet on her ass. My thing or is, he we only found seeing else. her. He could have brought Tiana Trump low key. Shut up. I, 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 I mean, you see what I'm saying? Like, come on, bro. For that amount of money, you could have paid for a porno production and been fucking. Come on, man. And made some money off of that. He probably could have got Adam 22 wife. It's so. No, nah, you could have got Adam 22 wife. Or you could have at least been on the show. You could have yeah, went yeah, on the show. And got you could have at least been on the show. Yeah, yeah, Crip, yeah. Crip Mac was on that motherfucker. <laughs> yes, free, I mean. Hey, free Crip Mac. Free Crip Mac. Free Crip Mac. We don't see what it is on her end that she's doing. Yeah, he got like that. <laughs> yeah, he got, he got a fair, he got a fair charge. No, they they got a they you know, got a fair charge. Yeah, I missed this. My bad. Free, <laughs> free my nigga, Crip Mac. Yeah, free Crip Mac, man. Yeah, yeah he got a fair charge. He, 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 he got a fair. He got a fair charge. Uh, breaking fed. news. <laughs> yeah, breaking news for sure. Fair charge, nigga. He was just about to hit Lena, dog. Just about to hit Lena, dog. And then that but, shit happened. Damn. Shit. Damn. Mm. I'm gonna hold off on my comment on Being that. Being a gangster, but they, they don't pay my off. thing is, we don't know what Ruby Ruby Rose is saying to him. Like, all we see is unresponded text messages. We don't know if this bitch done caught him, lured him into things, is leading him on. We really not seeing none of that shit. She only going to show us what she want us to see. No, that's right. facts. I mean, like, right. I love you, daddy. Right. All that right. is cool. Exactly. No, we don't right. know that she not doing that shit. We don't right. know if it's I mean, she was I mean, she was but claiming. But you can assume she is, though. She yeah. hasn't you can said assume anything, she is. though. I, be I believe it, though, because right. she was claiming a game that she wasn't a part of, nigga. So, All yeah. that is hey. cool is yeah. very, very cool. But, look, but yeah. spending 93 fucking thousand not dollars cool. that's is wild. stupid. That's wild. And this is all I got to say about this, This lady ain't your wife or your real life. It's no club. It's. You had no physical interaction hey. with this woman whatsoever. You spent thirty. A nigga you met spent her one time. Hold on, my bad. No, go ahead. Yeah, you met her one time, and then you said, "I'm a, I'm a double down and do sixty three. Mm. Everything that happened up in that moment That's your is fault. your fucking fault because motherfuckers don't even make fifty thousand on the year. Your average person don't even make fifty thousand. On you giving up ninety to somebody you a fan, man, you're hey. crazy. Average but look, for a man you can't find, and then you can't find a woman to love you. She, you give it, what the really? fuck is wrong with you? He spent ninety three thousand. We ain't heard about her <laughs> annual, right? We ain't heard about what she made annually, right? Yeah. Listen, Bad Baby made millions of dollars off of this shit, right? Yeah. And who knows who this nigga is? She fucking right. So you spend ninety three thousand, and it's a nigga that's. Splitting that shit down the middle with her that ain't spent shit. Just yeah. remember that, my just nigga. Remember, never forget. Just remember that. Never forget. It's a bum ass nigga that just bought court size seats with that ninety three thousand that you sent. I got with the leg of the what Lakers game, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Find a bitch there or something, you know? Man, yeah, I mean bad. like for real, nigga. Like that's just, that's just bad money management. Bad, that's bad money management. That's your for fault. Sure. For sure. You deserve it. And I'm, I'm a Money wise, I don't still don't feel like you're entitled to a woman's time. Like whatever you spend is on you, bro. No. Yeah. It's still up for them to decide it, how they want to be with you. Ninety nine percent of the time, it, it ain't about yeah. the money. Unless it's <laughs> unless it's about the money, it ain't about the it money. Ain't about the money. Yeah, unless yeah. it's about the money, it ain't about the money. So ninety three thousand could mean nothing. Goddamn nothing. right. Goddamn right. Yeah. Could mean right. nothing. So I'm gonna say for Bleed, man. Bleed said he'll definitely not do that shit. He, he he's gaming right now, but he yeah. wouldn't do that shit. Bleed over there. He's yeah, over there shooting. Yeah, yeah, shoot, yeah, he yeah, he shooting. Yeah, he shooting. Call, shoot. Shout out to Call of Duty. Yeah, he shooting niggas the fuck up over there, man. For real. <laughs> shout out to Ruby Rose too. Get your money, boo. Yeah, get your money, definitely, man. Get your money, baby. Definitely. I love when women get their money. Get your I money, baby. Too, man. Yeah, man. Like you know, check. You gonna definitely do it like that, man. But fuck these niggas. Take all their money. <laughs> Especially that motherfucker right there, man. Take all their fucking money. Yeah, yeah. He ain't even had to take them. Take ain't a man's even money, you, man. As go. a man, I'm a man. You feel me? Don't take my money, but take all these things. <laughs> 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 we, you know, we, we can take together. that to Santorini. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take, well. a, take a trip or some shit. You know what I'm saying? You know, mm. it is what I it mean, is. You about to dive us into something? Uh -oh. Yes, honey. 
Uh oh, here we go. Yeah, congr- Andretti. Andretti, man. Andretti, Andretti, man. Andretti, man. First off, congratulations, man. Right, and McKinney is a fire fucking project. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Yeah, you wrap your ass off, man. I, I put my heart in it. You man. put your heart in that I, shit. I meant, for sure. I meant it. I meant everything. I meant yeah. it all. Every, every <laughs> top to bottom. I meant it. Every, every part of it. So, what inspired you for this shit, man? Uh, hard times, depression, yeah. like hard shit, man. I went through so much shit. I went. Lost my father, lost my best friend, mm-hmm. broke up, had a breakup. Like, it was just so many different things. I was just like, bro, I'm on fire right now. I need to put this energy into something productive. You know what I'm saying? And, and yeah, shout out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel you, bro. I'm right here, no cap too, my nigga. 100%, yeah, nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Real talk TV. Oh, yeah. yeah. Man, that's a yeah. lot, man. I'm sorry to hear about your father. Yeah, I appreciate that. appreciate that. But, yeah, it was just like over a duration, and it was like, you know, I survived pandemic, didn't lose nobody for real through pandemic, and then 21 came, and it was like haymakers. Yeah. Everything went left, and it's like, fuck. Like, I had to, I took the time out, I traveled. Found myself a little bit, figure out who I wanted to be as far as that transition in my life. And then it was just like, all right, let's get back to music wholeheartedly. But I shut down everything. You know, I do a, mu- a lot for everybody when it comes to music. Mm-hmm. It's like producing, engineering, like everything. Even if I offer advice, I was extending myself and I took the moment for me. Like, you know, let me get back to me. Let me see how I feel. Let me see where my heart at, where my emotions at. And then, obviously, projects called Emma Sun. And it's not necessarily a dedication to my mama, but it's a dedication to my mama, my parents in general, but really my mama, because it was just kind of like, you know, who I am today. Real shit. Be proud of who I am today. This is this is who I am. I've endured a lot. I've been through a lot. Had a lot of challenges. I had to learn myself through everything, whether it be being in the streets or even parenting with my kids, like raising my son by myself. You know what I'm saying? Having a daughter and her having alopecia and me funneling through that and helping her be the best version of herself that she could be. So it was just like, let me take all this fire and just put it into music because that's my therapy. That's my release. That's, you know, music, you know, you cut, you cut on your favorite song, you feel a little bit better. You know, music can change, you know, the trajectory of the day. So it was just kind of like, yeah, I'm going to put my all into something. And, man, that, it... When I say it came, I didn't care about how nobody felt about it. I shouldn't. Nobody could have listened the day I dropped it. Nobody. And I still would have felt like the greatest success story ever because it's just like, it was for me. It was for me. It was entirely for me. Every moment, every song, everything was just, let me be about, let it be about me. Let me be about me. And then if you listen to it, you'll realize it's like a conversation with me. It's like sitting down with me for an hour. So let me ask you this. No features on this album except for one. Except for one. My man's right here. Yeah, shout out to Rock. What? Yeah. What inspired that one? I mean, shit, man. Me, really. I knew he understood the assignment. That's first. That's mm-hmm. first and foremost. But predominantly, like me, me and Rock really been, especially over the past year or so. And like I said, I've been through so much over that year or so. Maybe over it, over that. That's who I've been with. This who I've been around. This like we've it's been day and night. Prior to this, you know, in May on his birthday, we dropped everything premium EP. Yep. But that wasn't just. It wasn't just like you know the start of things. It was like prior to that. But it was things that he did outside of that, like where he helped me, in several different ways. Whether it was like mentally, emotionally, even like financially. It's not even like handing me money physically, but it's just like, bro, here I got an opportunity for you. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And you don't, you really don't run into too many people that had that energy for you. A lot of people, uh, just in all honesty, when you get around, especially with men, when you get around men, men like to set a pe- a pecking order. Most men want to be the one, yep. even if they don't have the build to be the one. Mm-hmm. Whereas to, you know, in our situation, with all our shit, whether it be RTL or the call catchers, we all understand, like, bro, we just... Focus on where we're great at. And we be the one in this a unit that come together. So, But with our situation, it was just like we just had been together for so long in terms of being around each other, just building what we, we trying to see going forward, that it was just like it was too much like right. It was too much like right. It was like perfection. Like, oh, man, I cannot do it. And he came through and he, like, 
his verse on there was just like, man, I remember when he did it, bro. It, I damn there was like, all right, studio over. Yeah, I'm fun? done. It's you crazy, know what I'm crazy saying? Ass verse. Mm -hmm. right, listen, Sko was there. I remember me when he said, uh, it's a line on there, bitch lied and cried with the same face. Bro, we looked at each other like, what is happening? <laughs> <laughs> and What's one thing, going on? And one thing about you, bro, like, I've been paying attention. I've been paying attention. The Price of Chi in China, Step Brothers Project. Oh, yeah. I've been watching. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I've definitely yeah. been paying attention for real, nigga. So, yeah. Heart made of China, baby. Heart made, Heart made of China. That's what it was. Heart made of China. Man. My apologies on that one, dog, for real, man. So, but no, nah, I'm fucking with both of that shit, for real, man. So, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but. Yo, bitch lying crowd with the same face is wild. That's crazy, it, bro. But it's the real when shit, you though. It, I feel like I want to tweet that right Listen, now. when you hear when you hear it in the context of the it's song, like it's so true. It was <laughs> like, what the fuck is happening here, bro? Like, I can't believe he came and got on this song and acted this way. <laughs> Hey, he, he could believe it. He's not. Like, he, he's not like got some. He, I he, could. You know, I never. I, hey, he had to get some shit off, man. He, he got his. He listen. Hey, he did what he's supposed to do. Yeah, exactly. I was. That's why I'm like. There's no way I, it can't be on there. And then it's like an interlude. It's like somewhere in San Juan interlude. Mm -hmm. And then it's that song. You feel me? Yep. And it was just like at first I was gonna spring them up. I'm like, all right, I can do this for something else. I'm like, nah, these bitches gotta be together. Like, you know, it gotta be. It gotta be on a project. 15 songs is I'm really like a 10 song well no I'm lying because I did 10 songs or 11 songs for summer spring mm -hmm. high tech in the dark I did 16 or 15 16 16, 16 yeah. you know what I'm saying our imitate life was 10 and then this one is 15 this project really does sound like you just really had to get some shit off your chest. Yeah, I had a lot on my heart. Yeah, I had a lot on my heart. It was a lot you was dealing with for sure, man. Yeah, so. I had a lot on my heart. I had, and it's fun still. It's not like you know you're not gonna get on there and be like, damn, I'm depressed by what you have on your heart because I know how to make like things like we human. Mm -hmm. We all human at the end of the day. Nothing is perfect with us. We gonna we gonna be faced with times and situations that it's troubling. It's it's yeah, so it's hard, but knowing that you can get through it just just by staying the course and really seeing what's ahead of you and understand that nothing is promised but death, it just, it helps. It helps the situation, you know what I'm saying? You got to keep a, even when it's fucked up, you just got to keep that mind like, it's nothing. Life not going to whip my ass. <laughs> I'm for real. I'm going to stand on all 10 about me, you feel yeah. me? Like, be strict about yourself. Be serious stand about yourself. Business. Stand on business. Stand, stand on, on business. Stand on business, yeah. Yeah, you got to stand on all 10 about yourself. So it was just like, really, like I said, it's my therapy. I'm not going to go to a therapist. I'm I'm not going to share everything with every with everybody in the craziest extent. But when you add music to it, you're able to say what you feel. You're able to kind of get that message. Some things that I can't say over the phone, I can say in rap. And then rap gives you a space to where you can say some outlandish shit. Hold on, I didn't mean to cut you off. No, no, I've seen it. <laughs> what is this? You're and that's about two to drink tequila with this shit. This nigga over here. So you said this shit was. You about to bring it back? You about to bring it back? I'm not going to Remix? <laughs> this is the I remix, baby? You see this shit? Because I'm worried. You see this about you a little bit. The, the, the a little bit. Like hey, that. Just it's cut it. Like I'm just. Hey, hey no, 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 miracle. Miracle. Just just cut it now. Just don't even drink no more Hennessy. Yeah, you good. I did go back. I know you don't want to mix. I know you don't want to mix, but this will be better than I promise you. Yeah, he right. He right. I promise you. Drive slow. Don't drive fast. Yeah, go ahead and put the cap. I don't want to mix. Yeah, go ahead and put the cap back on that You know what? You got to let her be great. Okay. All right. You know I trust your judge. Go ahead. I trust your judge. I'm just a guest here, so I trust your judge. It's not a. It's not a really. It's not so much that I don't know about mixing tequila with cognac. Like I don't know how I'm gonna react. To mixing that. cognac with cognac so is worse than mixing tequila with cognac. I'm gonna tell you right now. Think it's okay to too much cognac I is crazy. You it is. Yeah, that's fight too much that's, cognac. That's fight juice. It's crazy. That's fight juice. You did. You don't even give me a too much cognac yeah, like, drinking type. Give me that. Let me go ahead and pass it over to you. Know, I just didn't like the idea you know of switching from. Yeah. Yeah. Like I say, just you got to drive slow. Anyway. It's, it's, it's a lot lighter. It's a lot lighter. So look, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what song you fuck with on there? I need to know. Oh man. The I, one you and Rock, dog. Oh, okay, that bitch okay. was hard, dog. I, I, I had a, I had a feeling. I was I was assuming it was something else. No, it was that it was that one right there, though. That okay, bitch was hard. Yeah, dog. yeah I that, can see that. That, that bitch was hard. I thought you was gonna say Holy Go. I was like, yeah. Oh, maybe. Holy. Oh, because because it's simple. Yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Holy Go. But no, nah, like I really fucked with that because 
Man, he went crazy on that he went bitch. Crazy, he went crazy bro. on that that's, motherfucker. That's, dog. That's, I can't, I can't sleep on that. I've like, had, listen, I haven't had a chance to listen to the album yet. It's, it's gonna be what I'm listening to when I'm on the. You uh, gonna, you gonna check listen. out? I thought hey. I was gonna listen I, I to Nicki on the way to the crib. Well, I didn't uh, say Nicki on the way to the crib. I said I was gonna listen to it. Um, but I need everybody listening to Emma's son on the way listen, home. You gotta listen to listen to that. Everybody listen to that isolation. You know what I'm saying? Isolation. Listen to isolation. Listen to motion. Listen to all the songs. You know. Got a question though. You know uh-huh. what I'm saying? Because on some Killer Mike shit, uh-huh. that album was deeply personal. Yeah. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? And this yeah. album sounds deeply personal. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The type of music that you make, um, I don't. It don't sound like this is club music for the whole, so to speak. But like, it is. No, it's, it's definitely for the. Yeah. I love love. You gotta understand yeah. that. Well, that's his and first. his name don't start with Killer, <laughs> so it's just don't scare the hoes <laughs> immediately. <laughs> yeah, what I'm just saying is like we. There is a space for just like straight up creativity yeah. and speaking my heart and my emotion. And when you hear that shit, it's like, yo, I felt something listening to this, and like, that's the space. So I, I can't wait to listen to it. Yeah, you going I feel like once, what by the time you get to the San Juan song, the song that he like, the sense gonna be so made of it. You gonna be like, oh, like you you gonna enjoy it. It's it's not Hot Killer Mike project is personal it's just an explanation as to where i've been like the first maybe three songs is like where i've been who i am you know what i'm saying and then i think what four is god's god's favorite Mm -hmm. and then it kind of everything after that is an explanation as to who i am how, Mm -hmm. how i feel about family i'm a family first type person my family come before everything. You know, my mama, my sisters, my kids, my nieces, my nephews. And I think that's the kind of, like, we always got to carve a space for that type of music because most days I'm not in the club mood. You yeah. know what I'm saying? When I want to go to the club, I'm going to go yeah. to the club. But like, yeah. turn on my up regular all the time. day, I'm a love person. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. that music, sometimes when we judge music, we judge it as of how we feel while we in that turn up moment. Yeah. But most of the time, normal people are not in that turn up moment all the time. And we need shit like that to get us through our day, to get us through our similar situations and shit yeah. like that. So yeah, I can't wait to listen to it. Man. It's probably like one, Eastside Baby would be the, the closest thing to a club song. Mm-hmm. But I'm also, I'm very adamant as to who I am in there. Yeah. Like what type, what the, the business I stand on. But everything else in there is some things you can throw in the club. There's some things that's going to that's gonna hit with people a lot different than all the songs on there. Most of the women on there love Jodeci and Star Magnolia and the San Juans. The interlude in that song, you know. Who the fuck made the club the determining factor of good music? Labels. Labels. Because we always, yeah, like, labels, now it's, no. it's built into us. We be like, yo, what about the club? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I don't even yeah. The club. Definitely the labels. Labels. I don't even, yeah, you know, yeah, I'm not a club person. If the DJ person. at the club was playing it, it's a... It's a song worth listening yeah. to. I mean, cause you know me, nigga. My music ain't club music at all, nigga. Yeah, no. <laughs> There's no party music. Straight clubs got mm. play. They used right. to play music because niggas was afraid of the person who told you to play the music. Yeah. Mm. Some some they shit like, be like what club. What you gonna do when they like, yo, put this on? Mm-hmm. Yeah, if you hear so, if you hear one of my songs playing in the club, nigga, something wrong. Like, for real. I had some shit you can use <laughs> that'll go crazy in the club. club. Like, I had some a bunch of songs that'll go crazy that have went crazy in the club. Right? I mean, you know, pa- paper went crazy. In paper the club. went crazy yeah, in the club. Went crazy in the club. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, I had a whole lot of gang shit went crazy yeah. in the club. Yeah, I was uh, like, yeah. uh, Jiggy Flow went crazy. Oh man, Jiggy Flow went so crazy. You know, the one song that went crazy in the club for me was All Right with me and Stack. No, that made sense. Yeah, that, that, yeah. that made sense. <laughs> like the, some certain stuff, it just be like it. It feels good. That's the thing about the club. Like people be like, "Yo, you got to have a certain techno, bro." It, it, it has to feel good. Like one thing I'm not gonna do, man. I'm not gonna make a song like. Yeah, this is for the club, nigga. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? No, I can't do that I, shit. Man. I approach music like what's true to me. Yep. You know, anything with music is like my life, my like shit that I've done, and I I partied a lot. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm, yeah, 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 yeah nigga, party you, animal. nigga. You party, nigga. You we, party we, we, animal. We, we did we did parties with without even knowing we, knowing each other. Party the time animal, shit. Bro. Yeah, we like, did. Like when, when we first came out, we was doing slap fest for real. Oh man, I was at a strip club. I I spent a year in the strip club. Yeah. A year, it's crazy. I still remember that picnic you had the yays on, nigga, with the bottle in your hand and yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, I was I've been I was, in the club for yeah, a long time. Yeah, you was, feel me? Yeah, and it's like too, yeah. it's cool. You know what I'm saying? It's good. I did that though. You feel me? Yeah, I, sure. I mean, I, sp- I, I um I frequented the brass key a long time. Yeah, you feel me? 
Did you say the brass key? He said that. The brass key. He said that. That's a classic, nigga. That's a classic, man. If you know, you know. Shout out to the brass key. If it probably don't exist no more, but shout out to it. I mean, it doesn't. I mean, shit. I used to to be in All Stars all the time. Rodney City. Double O Seven. You know what I'm saying? Hey, them was the heydays. Yeah, Yeah, that was the heydays for sure. (laughs) What I say on uh, Razor Ramon? I miss erotic night shift. Oh man, wasn't nothing like that. I ain't nothing like it. Greatest show on earth, man. Shout out to. Hard, the club that used to be Erotic City. Yeah, the Lamb Chops was good as fuck Erotic City, dog. That was when I was yeah, eating Lamb, lamb Chops. Yeah, yeah. Oh, man. man what, 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 you you what you looking like that for, nigga? You my, you my ties like a motherfucker, man. So don't oh, you. My ties. My ties. Yeah, she was at my ties, nigga. I went one fucking time. <laughs> no, she was at my, she was at my ties, nigga. Calm down. The queen of my ties. I, I, I slighted my ties in the song time. before. Mm. <laughs> One time, I did. I'm just my glad ties. you made it. I'm just I'm glad, glad you made it. it. I ain't it gonna lie. Shout out to you myself. today. No, hey, I, I, I had some rough nights at my ties. Too. Leaving my ties yeah, at my ties. I ain't gonna lie. It's very different. Like, my ties like, in a tough neighborhood. Like if you a woman from a tough neighborhood, mm-hmm. your experience growing up is totally different from the nigga that lived next door to you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like, when I walk to the nah, corner, facts. like I got a different version. Like you mad that a nigga might try to talk to you, get your number, like they was gonna be beat our ass problem. and rob us. You know, <laughs> I may not make it back type shit. Yeah. No, that's nah. my East Side experience. These, these but going to kill us. My ties, nah, we it, was, it was chill. They might we went on a whole terror spree one night after my ties. It was it was totally nah, different. My ties is like I I went to my ties like two times, and the second time I'm like I'm never coming back, <laughs> ever, <laughs> never, <laughs> ever. One and done. I mean, I'll never go that back. That sound like that sound like me and Chevelles on the West Side, done. dog, on Schoolcraft. Yeah, 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 certain places it's just like we we done here. Yeah, Chevelles was. Yeah, Chevelles was. And I, that's exactly how I feel yeah. about the East Side. Yeah, Chevelles is definitely. Don't, don't do that. Don't man. be like. Don't that. do that. Don't exactly be like. Don't do that. that. Chill would be proud. So, so right now, nah. I'm glad he ain't in here. <laughs> Shout out to Chill, man. Once again, nah. Shout I out mean, I feel you though, because I. I mean, after that experience, being. Shout out to Shout out to G. Shout out to Stack. Uh, all them, yeah. Hey, shout yeah, out to everybody. Yeah, man. Nah, uh, <laughs> that whole that whole Somerset corridor is on the east side, though. Let's just You're right, remember, bro. Though, Listen, just, you went to the wrong side, the wrong part. The you wrong went to the part. wrong part. Yeah. Should have came to the. We six. still, we still got Eddie B's. Mm-hmm. And, you know all that other yeah, shit. Yeah, all over there. Yeah, you know you, you yeah, you tripping over going it's to on my, the east side. Of you went to my ties. You yeah, you went to my ties, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You asked for a bad experience. Yeah, you definitely were. I had a great. Experience. Until you mm-hmm. didn't. Until you sure? Did you remember you about to get in the scrap later on that, that night? That was too? different. That yeah. had nothing to do with mm. it. Yeah, yeah, but okay. uh, yeah, but I was, well, I was nah, because you you had put some, you was like the east side. Like you had put the east side yeah. on the, yeah. on the yeah. bad no, part. We ain't asked for this. We ain't do that. Yeah. Don't do we that. We ain't land on Plymouth Rock. Plymouth Rock landed on us. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> so you know, man. I, you know, what I'm saying I went to school mm. on the east side too, man. Went to Crockett, man. So you know, I got love for the east side for yeah, sure. Man. Crockett, Crockett, uh, yeah. uh, Crockett, Texas. Yeah, man. Shout, shout out, out deep, man. Shout out to my nigga Charles. So he White, an op. Man. He got and an op right now. <laughs> 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 he a technician. He an op right now. Ooh. Oh shit. Uh, now we from the six. So you know no, what I'm man. saying collectively. Uh, Speaking of Crockett, right? Yeah, oh, man. random hunting story. Oh, man. Mm. Well, I played football for Fred D. <sighs> yeah, okay. We weren't good at all. We sucked bad. Where is that at? Oh man, I don't know where it's at. No, no, it's at the old Murray right now. It was on Mac and Shane oh, at the time. Oh, okay. They okay. put that Murray right. It's at Murray right. Oh now. hell no! Nah. Not I where mean, that's at. That's listen, crazy. I'm proud of this camera. Yep, there we go. All right, I'm proud of this. Right, my senior year, the the year before, and my senior year. Academically, we did great. And the, the school went from a troubled youth very school. Tr- very troubled youth school. Yeah, to a college preparatorial school. Yeah. Mm. We sent a lot of people. Exactly. Went to, uh, no, a lot of people went to college. Mm. A lot of people didn't, ain't out here begging for change. There's a few of them. I've seen a few of them. Okay. <laughs> Hey man, I gotta put it on the floor. They asked me for five dollars. I'm like, that's crazy. Not like a dollar and seventy five cents. Some change. You like five whole dollars, bro. Like, what's hey, no. Nah, we know from past experience that the bus fare went up. Yeah, the bus. Yeah, we, we do. Right, know. We yeah, we, we had a conversation about that. The bus fare was two dollars now. That's crazy. Mm-hmm. What? That that's don't, wild. That's crazy. don't ask us how we know. Don't ask us how we know. Either either one how of us rode the bus. Very much either so one not, of us rode the I bus. I didn't get on the bus. Nigga, two dollars. That's a lie. But I had to Google it. We had to Google it. I had to Google it. Why would y'all Google it? <laughs> nah, but don't act. No, nah, no, we ain't gonna talk about we why we know this because of an unfortunate circumstance. Very that happened. unfortunate. 
We don't and ride. Have to figure out how much bus fare. Because something had happened. Yeah, something somebody happened. Somebody gave somebody bus fare. We found out it wasn't enough bus fare. It wasn't fare. enough. He was sure. Yeah, this <laughs> this sound like a GTA mission. He gave him a nah, receipt too. Was, it if he would have just. It was him. a five a.m. GTA. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. yeah. If anybody know about GTA missions, it's me. We don't. Yeah, me and Honey don't ride the bus. I rode the no, bus in high school. No, they didn't realize how much bus fare went up. Mm. Yeah, no, it went up. That, that, it it messed one, me like, up. It was one twenty five with a transfer yeah. when I was riding that motherfucker. No, that shit one fifty straight up. It's one fifty straight up. The transfer you fifty cent, bro. Two dollars. You not you gonna get to this spot, but you not getting the rest. You're not of the getting way. nowhere else. It's on you, cuz. I just recommend getting a car. That's yeah. it. You feel me? I that's, recommend that's getting case. a car. That's the best case. Get your little shooter, man. Go on Facebook get Marketplace. You in high school though, you couldn't. That was not. Option. Man, you know how many uh, little niggas in high school yeah. making money right now? Hey, I ain't even they gonna are. lie. I'm gonna they tell you some crazy shit about my high school. Right? I got. I'm like, if I gotta keep catching the bus, my senior year, I'm like, if I gotta keep catching the bus, I'm dropping out. Nah, I. I definitely drove to the bus stop. I was, yeah. well, I was oh, on some my see. hand shit. I ain't gonna hey, lie. Hey man, look, I got I, my, I did some. I, I did drove some to the bus stop. I was shit. on some wild shit. Look, man. I got my, I got my, I got my first car junior year, dog. Like it was, it was a wrap after that. My shit, girlfriend man. at the time had a car, so she, you got to pick me up for school. <laughs> I had a car junior. Right, I'm not going grade. unless you coming to get me. It just you know, is what it is. That's crazy. Now that I said, said, well, Jason. I had a but car in eleventh grade, but then my pop car got stole, and when they found it, it was in a shop. So he took my your car. car became his car. Yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying because yeah. that's how it was. So yeah. it was like, I ain't had a car. I ain't I ain't look, look once I look once I got my car. They ain't seen me at school, nigga. I pulled up one day in class, nigga. Everybody was like, "Damn, nigga!" Even the teacher said, "Damn, like, nigga, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. you here?" I'm like, "Yeah." That's I used terrible. to be on some. She used to let me drive her car to school and pick her up from school, and that was the craziest shit. Like, girl, you was crazy. <laughs> And hindsight, it was like, well, it's the most craziest shit you could do. I'm yeah. a high school. I, my motherfucking, I ain't even there all the way. I'm not even there. For real, you young, when you young, you, you got to think about when you was young in high school, the decisions you made as a high school. That was very mm -hmm. dumb. Oh, I made some horrible decisions. Let's be school. real here. The worst. Man. That was the dumb. worst. I made niggas. dumb decisions. Nigga. I'm, I'll double down on the dumb decisions. Nigga, I remember I was kid school with my first girlfriend, dog, and I seen my nigga Gerald at the bus stop with his girlfriend. I'm like, nigga, get in the car, dog. <laughs> we just, I took that nigga. I'm about to fuck you up about the girl that was taking me to school. Oh, right? man. I hope she don't see this. I don't give a fuck if she see this. <laughs> Million years ago. Who this for? But listen, right? <laughs> so <laughs> oh, shit. she taking me to school. I'm fucking with her. You know what I'm saying? I fuck with a girl from the same goddamn school. Oh, you was a scum, scumbag, nigga. Listen, scumbag. Though, I'm about to oh, tell you. Man. I'm about to tell you a crazier story wow. about this whole fucking shit, right? <laughs> Scum gang. Nigga. I'm about to tell you the crazier story about this whole motherfucking story, Indians. right? They end up finding out about me. Mm. And right before we played Crockett, they fought. And they both showed up at the Crockett game at Crockett. You see how Crockett showed up? At oh, the, yeah. You see oh, how this oh, came oh full circle? Kids, oh my God, <laughs> we played Crockett at Crockett. That's when Isaac and uh, who the fuck was there? It was Isaac, Mohead, all of them, they was there. This was like my junior oh, yeah. year, sophomore year, yeah. or some shit like that, bro. That yeah. was junior year. Yeah. And I'll never forget that one showed up. And sat by my mama, and the other one showed up and sat like on the other side. And I'm looking, I'm like, what the fuck? They look like, like they've been scrapping. And then after the game, I'm about to hop out, and they get to arguing again, and they was about to scrap, and I got the fuck on. I think I remember that shit too. That yeah. was a, that was a, it was at Crockett. Oh, everything I love it happened. It was a football field. It was, it was a football. basketball game. Oh, Spain! The winner, bro. At, Sp at Spain! At Spain! Oh my god, I remember that shit. It I was do crazy, bro. Yeah. I couldn't believe myself. I'm like, I gotta be better. I stopped lying after that. No bullshit. I stopped lying after that. I'm like, I just, cause I was lying like a motherfucker, but I don't know why. I was young. I ain't know no better. I ain't know that like if you don't lie, like you give them a chance to make the decision and they gonna make it regardless. They, you know. Yeah, you was wild ass nigga. I but, fucked yeah, up. Yeah, you was wild ass nigga. I'm boy. better now. Yeah. It's miracle face I'm, for me. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> she like, she like, and you looked at me like I'm about, about, about finesse two you, times. You chose to sit next to that nigga. I, <laughs> I know him already. I'm all yeah. good now. I grew up. That was that <laughs> I was, was young. I was boy, a pup. I was, was a baby. Some, boy, that was some wild nah, shit, bro, nigga. Them fighting is the craziest yeah, shit. Hell yeah, hey. like. Nah. I, know, I know you out there. I know you. On the, I know you mm. probably looking around like, what the fuck is going no, on, nigga? Bro, look, I'm listen, right? All right, this is the thing you gotta know about. You know this. Most niggas know about this. No, nah, no, nah, nah, most niggas don't because they lie. <laughs> they be lying like a motherfucker. That nigga said, "Take me out the equation." No, no, I, no, I'm, he just know. Saying, I'm, he a, know I'm a truth teller. Yeah, he knows. He knows. If nobody knows, some people know. But when it comes to men, like I feel like 
Like I'm I'm don't get me in no leeway. As a man, don't get me in no leeway. As a woman, right? Mm -hmm. So I can appreciate when women be hard on me because I can appreciate when niggas really put the pressure on niggas to be better than what the fuck they are mm -hmm. and hold niggas to a certain standard, right? And in that moment, I'm like, I'm tweaking the fuck out and they dumb as hell because why y'all fighting over me? Like, it's so many niggas in the world. Why y'all fighting over me? Have some dignity. Have some fucking dignity. I prefer Y'all was in fucking high school. Maybe have some dignity Ain't still. Ain't nobody fuck. thinking about but, that shit Okay, in don't, high do that. don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Women, women don't think nobody. like that in, in high school. In 2023, a 30 I'm plus. Positive. As 30 I'm, plus I'm, year old women. Was in high school, like. But you mature so much faster. Nah, than men. nah. In high school, if it's a if it's a girl messing with your with nigga, me? you you whooping her ass. You're not thinking about holding him accountable. Nah, true. Fighting the nigga, true. fighting the girl true. over a nigga who was you? using your nah, car nigga. is crazy. I wasn't. I can tell you that much. No. But we didn't. I didn't have that type of experience in high school. We cared about not getting robbed on the way fucking home from true. school. True. True. What high school did you go to? I went to Southeastern. Mm -hmm. I start. I started Says at lot. Southeastern. Damn, I went there Says too. A lot. I got kicked out. Most niggas that got kicked out of all the other schools, they went there. I went basically. That, that was why I, went, I got kicked out of South. Shout East out Big Crib. Crazy shit. Shout out Big Crib. <laughs> Shout out Big Crib, man. Niggas went to Southeastern because they couldn't go no place else. You when Osborne, when Osborne, Osborne wouldn't take you, you was next one. <laughs> 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 no, I had to ask. I went to Southeastern too. That's why I got kicked out of to end up at Fred. Know, yeah. Um, but nah, yeah. it that was our concern. Double kicked out. That Niggas went fighting over like boyfriends and girlfriends and shit. Like nigga, you wanted to get on the bus, get to the fucking bus stop without getting fucking beat up or robbed. No, like, and it and it's certain people that wasn't doing that back then, and it's certain people that still doing that now. Yeah. Unfortunately. My first week at Southeastern was chaotic. <laughs> I can see that. Mm. No, I like I'm I and mean, then the first person that I met at Southeastern, this nigga Danny. Danny mm. and this bitch big as hell. Big Danny. Big Danny, yeah, mm. yeah. He and this bitch big as hell, bro. I'm kicking it with this nigga. Woo-woo. He like, yeah, bro, you good. Mm. Woo-woo. I'm from Six and Van Dyke. Everybody, Mac Jefferson, East Warren, Verner Boys, all of this shit. Mm-hmm. We going to lunch. We getting lunch. It's a big ass gang brawl, war brawl, whatever. And I'm with him. He from Mac. And niggas are instantly attack us. And I'm like, damn, my first week in that bitch, I am fighting with this nigga. Mm -hmm. Why am I fighting with you, dog? I am not even from none of these hoods. It was about where you were from. Yeah, I stood on business, though. Standing on business. Cause he was cool and then Danny big as fuck. Well he ain't big as fuck now. Nah, shout out to his weight loss journey, you feel me? But that nigga was <laughs> you know yeah. I ain't mean to laugh. Yeah, yeah. I ain't yeah mean. that's fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> but no, that shit was nah, crazy. I'm, I'm bro. proud of my baby. I'm proud of him, bro. Get healthy, bro. Listen. <laughs> Getting the life not, expectancy not getting big. on us as black men is <laughs> oh 60, my bro. God, nah. You ain't even need to go. I didn't want to go there, but <laughs> standing on let's be informative right now because I want all my black brothers that's worth a damn to live a long life. Keep talking, man. No, no, this is how we talk. This is normally how we talk. You, you yeah. got to know me, hey. like I say, like I, nah. yeah, I really because nah, my shit. no, nah, because you got to understand my brother outside. You know, what I'm saying he waiting in the car for us. We want him to live a happy. Healthy life, chill. Yeah, chill. Yeah, chill. Yeah. Yeah. He, hung over? he don't want to come in. No, he is hung over. He literally just texted me. He said, hours. I've been outside for three hours. <laughs> Nigga, find another ride home. And I said, fuck you. He can go fuck? back. <laughs> he so. can go back to sleep. What the go fuck was he what, what was he drinking? He didn't. Don Julio. Don Julio. Don Julio. Oh, see, that's where he fucked up at. We know. That's what we told him. Yeah. We told him that. We he don't want to come in. That's his problem, right? One day, one day we're gonna be able to get him. To, to come in, you skull came in. You see skull. Yeah. Shout out to skull. Shout, shout, shout out to RTL. Skull. Yeah. RTL yeah. skull in the building. Shout out to skull, but he didn't want to come in. You no, they he, cause he drinking Don Julio, nigga. He fucked up right yeah, there. Yeah. Nah, yeah. we told him. We told yeah, him. Yeah, man. No, it's it's not. It's not the tequila. Mm. I'm really like this. I'm. I'm really like. I'm all right. Yeah, no, he definitely like it. No, this I, is definitely. I don't this like rappers. Him. This is definitely him. I I barely like men. Yeah. Oh, like I like niggas make me sick. Yeah, they suck. They make me sick. I hate niggas. Like I hate being around too many niggas. Like Jesus Christ. I know. No, nah. for real. No, nah, because niggas is egregious. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> niggas is egregious. Men are not niggas well. Are some nasty creatures. Men are not well. Like nasty. let's be. You're a woman. You're a woman. <laughs> Right, a woman that's uh -huh. been to uh, yeah, a woman, my ties, and, I, and, and a woman that's <laughs> been in my ties. So let me do. You're a woman that's been to my ties. That's attractive, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, so very, very attractive. I can only imagine. Oh, I can only imagine the bullshit that you've dealt with. Nah, when it comes real. to me, for real. Oh yeah. Oh, the yeah. thirst. The book. thirst is you ain't real. Got to tell me. I know because I'm yeah. a man, right? And mm-hmm. I ain't sent nobody through the ringer, but I've I've seen men in many capacities. I I do music. I do production. I engineer. I rap. Mm-hmm. So I most so nine times out of ten, rappers are the, are the worst brand artists. Artistic niggas are probably the worst brand of men. Oh, positively. Mm-hmm. You, you yeah. meet, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. I got a self awareness to really see that shit, and I really judge him. I like carrying myself in a certain way. Like I, I can't. Yeah, yeah. He never, he never brought anybody yeah. through the ringer. No, I, 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 I no, second him with that. No, he I never ain't never. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, he always stood on business. Black man don't cheat. Black, Black man don't man cheat. Don't <laughs> cheat <bro. laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Real. Thank you. Shout out to RTL Rock, yeah, man. Definitely, that's definitely, that's like, brother. Definitely, but definitely. But yeah, like I know how dudes are. So it's just like as a man, as a man, I gotta hold niggas around me to a certain standard. And I don't wanna be around you if you a certain way, if you don't do a certain thing, if you don't have a certain respect for women. Because at the end of the day, it's just like in the same breath of me loving women and the stories I told you is like I got a mom, I got a sister, so I carry myself a certain way. I and it's not even just women are human. They human mm-hmm. like us. Like certain things, certain boxes they try to that society and men try to put women in is like it's unfair. You don't do yeah. that. Like you don't no, don't we, put them in that box. Like we very realistic yeah, at RTL yeah. Cloud Catcher Music Group. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Gotta we have very balance. realistic yeah. over here. Shouts know. out to the ladies, man. Shouts Shout out, out to we, the ladies. We love man. y'all, man. Yeah, y'all Get y'all money. Do yeah. your thing. Be happy. Yeah. And, and get these niggas a hard time. Yeah. Make them earn you. Y'all Make these a, niggas earn you. Y'all getting a lot more money than most of these niggas. You are. Y'all yeah, are. That's shit. another thing. Real shit. I feel like it's the time of the I women right now. A, it is. It is. Like we go through times in life, but I feel like right now is the time of the women. And if 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 men knew any better, they would just it's a lot of finished support niggas. the women around. It's them. a lot of fin- finished Amen. niggas, and there's yeah. a lot of women out here that's that's holding this shit, having their way, the man. Having their way to float. But for us niggas that's having our way still, let's link up. Let's link up. <laughs> let's, let's have our way, man. Let's have our way. But he yeah, gonna, no. he gonna get that mic together. All right, honey. So what's next for you, bro? What's next for me? Yeah, what's right, next for you, man? Uh, so hope it's promoting this project like a month. No, I'm gonna promote the fuck out. I'm letting yeah. people decide the video that I'm that I'm gonna come with. Like I have personal favorites on my own, but I think they're just personal to me. But I'm I'm gonna let the numbers decide everything. The numbers are doing really good, by the way. Yeah, yeah, of course, great, of course. doing really great. I just oh, got course. a couple songs recently picked up by Spotify playlist. Oh yeah, you know, uh, and it surprised me some of the songs, but it was like it's mean, cool. You got your uh, this project available for purchase? Yeah. Okay. It's for yeah, high, high, whatever works. You know what I'm saying? You got iTunes. Uh, Amazon, me wherever you want to buy from, you know what I'm saying. Hundred so and ready. Streaming sites is on the SoundCloud for people, you know it's everywhere. Any is everywhere, you know what I'm saying. Shouts out to my, shouts out to Push Distribution, you know I appreciate y'all. But uh, yes, yeah, everywhere. Yeah, I gotta holler at you about that too. By the it, way, it, everywhere in the world, you know yeah. what I'm saying. You, you got people in jail, they can listen to it. It's curious, you know what I'm saying. Core links, like it don't matter. But uh, yeah, I gotta holler at you about Push. Yeah, definitely, definitely, yeah, definitely, definitely gotta make that happen. But, the, the overall, like, I'm just, I'm going to take my time with it. Uh-huh. But even with that, I'm just going to keep rebranding it and keep bringing it back to the people's light. You know, people's eyes through other things. Like, me and Rock got a project coming out. Okay. We don't have a date. The worst is yet to come. The worst is yet to the come. The worst is yet to come. I fuck with it. Yeah, oh yeah, you're gonna fuck uh, with when you hear the songs, you're gonna worst, be like the man, worst is yet to come. You you're, the worst is yet to come. It's it's gonna be great. It's we 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 did our big one. It's something for everybody on there. No nah, facts. There's a lot of songs that's gonna be tailored towards the women's yeah. ladies, you know what I'm saying? It's a very R and B ish. I wouldn't even say R and B ish. It's just, it's just, it's, it feels it's a good. vibe. It's a vibe. Oh, so to y'all ain't got Tory Lanez on. Yeah, no, to put it in, I ain't on. I no, I ain't Tory shooting Lane nobody in the foot. Yeah, you know no, what I'm saying? We don't but. stand with Tory Lanez. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. On a non-violent yeah, side of things. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No. Okay, I feel it. Oh, like, man. I want, I want, you know, we, we come with a very gender neutral women. The women yeah, going to love the vibe. Neutral, yeah. The men going to love the vibe. Everybody's going to enjoy themselves. You know what I'm saying? It's a tequila music. You can go to the beach and have your way. 
to the beach. You can go to the beach. Like it's it, and not Belle Yeah, yeah, not Belle Isle. You gotta go to like Puerto Rico or Six something Bella. like that. Yeah, yeah, no, nah, for real. You gotta yeah, go nah. to the Ain't nothing wrong beach. with Belle Isle, you know what I'm saying? But still, it's not, you know what I'm saying? Not. It's something wrong with Belle Isle, but it's <laughs> not. <laughs> nah, it's a lot wrong, but at the same time, you know what I'm saying? Man, Get totally. Hey. I need to go down there with the white folks. Hey. Like they be having the time. Yeah, yeah. But no, yeah. And I'd be like, this the same Bella we've been going to? No, it's not the same. I just I just, I just did some volunteer work down there. It ain't yeah. the same. You know what I'm saying? It's not. No, I just cleaned up a lot down there. Shout, out to, Bella, Shout, out, to Shout Bella, out to Bella. Shout out to Bella. Shout out to Bella, man. Y'all go do some volunteer work at Bella. Shout out man. to Rock being the The aquarium activist. is free. It's also rated the the best. The best aquarium. aquarium. No, it's one of the. It literally really? is though. Yeah. No, it really is. Okay. It really I took, is. I took my son down there. He he really loved it. He, as he as loved somebody it. who visited a lot of aquariums in several yeah, states, yeah, yeah, like it's one of the best. In the country. That shit in Chicago is oh, great wow. though. The aquarium in Chicago is great. Flat out. I love mm-hmm. Chicago. One in Atlanta is my favorite. Oh no, Atlanta. Yeah, Atlanta. Yeah, Atlanta really Houston, Houston, I just don't like Houston. Atlanta. Houston, the Houston Aquarium is crazy too. Mm. Damn, I've never been to the Houston. Houston is crazy. They got a restaurant inside of it. Okay, I'm going to have to put that on the agenda. Room, yeah. like an IMAX theater in the whole wall. It's like... Oh, say like, less. Um, say less. Yeah. Tank. It's like the white whales. It's like these oh, two wow. white whales. They're only, they're only, it's only two of them. Yeah. One here and one in Japan. Only two Caucasian two whales. whales. You know what I'm saying? Oh, okay, all right. Like <laughs> <laughs> Gentrified <laughs> whales. <laughs> what would happen with the sharks and the whales and shit? It's crazy. Yeah. Like three three hundred fifty. Three hundred fifty dollars in four hours of training. You can go in there too. Oh, I, it, it ain't the three fifty that got me. It was the four hours of training. I'm yeah, straight that's what it was. Now that right we have you here, Jason. It sound like work. Can you smoke I'm during like, this training? Can you? <laughs> I will hope not. Can you drink during this? If I, you can't you smoke, you don't need to do none of that. Wow. My that's favorite crazy. picture that you posted was you coming out of that cage. Yo, was it Puerto Rico? <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Shout out to Puerto Rico. Nah, that's, I felt like I read that's, that's every right. thought on your face. Time to be alive. Matter of fact, when you listen to Emerson, just go to somewhere. No, nope, don't go to somewhere in San Juan, but go to somewhere in San Juan. The interlude in the one, you, you'll get it. This you know, like, you know what? The I feel the same face. way. <laughs> What was we doing? I think we were recording when we seen that picture. Yeah, we did, man. Nigga, Jason Klein, out that bitch looking like, nigga, what the fuck am I doing here? <laughs> I was like, who the fuck got Jason in a Caucasian activity? <laughs> yeah, nigga, like, yeah, nigga, I ain't know what you was doing, dog. Like, you, had a, you, like, you had a ball, though. No, we glad you made it here today. Yeah, I'm you know glad to see you. I'm glad you made it here today, man. <laughs> hey, you know what? Shouts out to Jason, you feel me? Mm-hmm. We got to give Jason his flowers because man, it's been a long time coming. Man, that's why I said the real yeah, high five. Yeah, he a real one. From, from, from the beginning to the end, he's been a real one. Shop Talk is great. Man. Shop Talk, is, let me say that. Shop Talk is great. Great. Great content. Really informative. Like, entertaining. So, mm-hmm. and we shout out to you. And we about to take it to a new I can only imagine. I can only imagine. Mm-hmm. Once you listen to the project, you call me. We can set a date. We gonna. I'm gonna come up there, man. We can talk I mean, our shit. So you and George are supposed to come up and yeah, come we forward. was I'm glad everything's so quick. George, you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah I had a situation. Nah, George like is said, crazy. Yeah, yeah Jorge. Right. <laughs> no, you gotta call man. Look, you have to call. Look, the shit dealing with that nigga. You have you to call, call, call him government. That, bro. You gotta call him by the government. That's my guy. No, that's my nigga. That's my. I've learned that. I've learned that. Yeah, he learning now, bro. Bro, I used to do a podcast with this nigga. So trust me. That's my best dog yeah, right there, man. man. That's my, my day right one. Now, man. I'm so proud of him. Yeah, yeah, what yeah. What he's doing as a father. What yeah. He, man. He just, All right. Nah, he, he is. He going to take care nah, of business. That's why. That's why go, I'm, me and him been friends for since elementary. Since elementary. So you already know. Just seeing him. From then to now, it's just it's beautiful. Like I, I'm still kind of upset. This nigga like milk does his favorite candy. <laughs> Let's not talk about what he's he likes. Weird. He's a Let's little weird. Let's not talk about he's what he likes. What he enjoys. He's a little my weird. boy came over there <laughs> over my house one day, and he bought a crazy little. He bought a designer lunch lunchable, bro. It was like it was like like the the uh, private selection from Kroger's and shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> The exotic joint. Yeah, he had the exotic Bro he put that bitch together So crazy I'm like bro If you don't get the fuck Out my face I said this ain't salami This yeah. cap of cola Look we yeah, trying yeah, to move Into the new house though And I'm trying to move Into the house I'm in now Type of shit You feel he me He's personally getting this responsible For COVID 
Yeah, he is. He is. <laughs> no, it, 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 not putting that on him. No, it uh, is. No, it, it'll be on that nigga. I mm. put it on Rudy Gobert. No, look, no, no. We did an episode, man. Mm. This nigga kept. No, he knew about it. We yeah. talked about it. Yeah, the nigga on the episode, he kept. It was me, him, oh, Jason, and Frost. No, I know Vice. So listen, y'all want to know some crazy shit, right? What up? It, when did they announce it? In what February, March type? It was like March, yeah. It, yeah. Okay, so G knew about that shit in October. I caught it in October. I bet he fucking did. Really? I caught it in October. Mm. How it came about, right? I went to a video shoot. Uh, it was me, Ross, oh, and Nick. Yeah. It was a lot of us. I ended up getting sick as hell. I don't even get sick. Nobody's ever heard me say I'm sick. I get sick as fuck. I come back to the studio after like a month. He like. You had the, you had the Roman. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> 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 fuck is it? He showed me all. He got on the rabbit hole. I'm like, damn, I had that shit, bro. Like, I really couldn't taste nothing, smell. Like, I was fucked up. He knew about it. You know, shout out to G. Yeah, G, yeah, G is a very informative. Over here, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, look, she I'm got a, she got a crazy story about you though, dog. About me? Oh man, yeah. My oh. first experience with you. Damn. We've talked about this on the podcast like maybe three times. Shit. Damn. You probably don't even remember it. I can only imagine. <laughs> I was, drunk. was I drunk? I don't, maybe a little bit. I was. <laughs> so we were at <laughs> Ant's listening party. <laughs> and it was just a, Is it a general. At yeah, it was yeah. at Shop Talk. Yeah, yeah. Oh, at I Shop Talk I Studio. There. I had the, the belt. <laughs> I, <was there. laughs> I had the belt. <laughs> a belt and was crazy. I ain't going There was just a general conversation about Ant's album. And like, you started talking. And you popped a shroom mid conversation. Damn. <laughs> like, and it was so <laughs> casual. And I had never seen no shit like that oh, in my life. And shit. you just continued mm. talking like you popped Mentos in your mouth. Oh, yeah. No, and just started chewing. It was like, yeah. Okay. So, whoa, whoa, whoa. And I'm I thought like, it was going to be something I, that surprised me. No. See, no. but for me, it was a surprise. No, I get you. I get yeah. you. But and then I looked around the room and I'm like, this nigga just popped a shroom in oh, front yeah. of everybody. I, and I, like, I just, nobody reacted. I casually. <laughs> It happened it fast. So casual. It happened fast. I was in my bag and I'm like, Poop, there we go. You know what I'm Man, saying? Let me activate a little bit. Turn up. Nah, I'm going to tell you what fucked me up that night. Capers had some apricot punch. He did. Man, mm. it took me the fuck out. Nigga <laughs> said he did. <laughs> he took me the Baby fuck out. Baby Capers. Shout out to Capers. Man, shout out to Capers, dog. That nigga took me the fuck out. That, that shit took me out, dog. Right and then you left to go do a video shoot. I did. Oh yeah, that's not. That's, I did. Yeah, that's that's, that's, that's wild. Normal. That's nothing new with this nigga, man. That's normal. Normal. We used to work together years ago. I know my first and last name. You know what I'm saying? Shit. Andre. My nigga. My nigga. Jesus Christ. Yeah. That was that either, either way, Capers fucked me up. I ain't gonna lie. I yeah, the last man. the last thirty six seconds of my head was fucked up by Capers. He, uh, he G cousin. I know I, I know it's somebody, but I'm just saying. I'm yeah, just thinking he, of Capers and bad yeah, states. It's G cousin. That's all you need. Poor to know. dates. G cousin. G cousin. You know what I'm saying? That's funny. That's, that's that my cousin, first time meeting you. He's kind of tin foil haddish too. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 yeah, yeah both like, of them. Like tin foil haddish. No, for real. They like that. Yeah. We're just gonna look to the right direction. All the conspiracies you gonna find out about. Yeah. It's them niggas. Nah, that's crazy. Them niggas. It's and crazy that my antenna first head time is crazy. Around her, I popped the top. Pop. Man, oh, so what you I was shook. Crap for conspiracy? Oh yeah, I be hardcore. Like you know, uh, you know, I be on some bullshit <laughs> when it comes to us. <laughs> what the fuck? E U G and Don in there. Oh, what the fuck did I miss? Yeah, yeah. we only use that shit for conspiracy. We got it. Yeah, we got we got to bring that back. Anytime, any, anytime there's any action in that joint, it's some crazy shit. Yeah, yeah we got to bring that back. Yeah, yeah. We got to bring when that I back. I met Don. I was like, oh, this is this is too much. Like, I got a little conspiracy theory in me. But, like, when I met her, and I was like, oh, you really, you believe this shit That's for crazy. real, for real. No, Don, man, Don, Don is a fire-ass stylist, by the way. I, you know? I don't care that much. Yeah. <laughs> Life is hard enough. You want yeah. me to, like, I can't control this shit. I can't fix it. Hey, man, nothing hey, I can man, do about look, it. G's the pro- G brought up Jeffrey Epstein. He brought up. We knew about that. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, G was on G was I'm definitely scared in. of this conversation. Yeah. All right. Was All right, look. Cam the first person to really No, it was Jim Jones that really brought that shit. Jim Jones. Or he tried to talk about it. No, man. Well, look, we, our first episode, what the fuck did I miss? G we did a whole topic on Jeffrey Epstein. Yeah, I know, man. I yeah, remember. That, that I'll shit never was crazy. Forget. That shit was crazy. I was worried. I'm like, bro, that's crazy. But look, man. let me wrap this shit up so we don't get caught up in none of this shit nah, right now. Go. Yeah, I remember go. I remember he's in the studio with this nigga. This nigga, um, this nigga FaceTime popped on out of nowhere, dog. I'm like, yeah, it's time for us to go. Shit. So yeah, that shit was crazy. But look, 
I appreciate everybody coming out here, man. Emerson out right now on all streaming right services. Now. Buy that yeah, shit too. Tap in. Uh, RTL, man. Shout out to the shout out to the shout out to the whole team. The Thanks for having us, man. Uh, biggest, sure. the biggest. Shout out to you too. RTL. You feel me? Uh, one year with this. One year. One year. Congratulations. Yeah, Congratulations. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah, man. Hey, hey, we came in contact in the very first studio. Mm -hmm. Y'all been down, Evan, and you been cool, motherfucker, ever since. You and G, the whole nine Aww. yards and shit. And I'm glad to see y'all. Still doing it, and whatever iteration there is, y'all keep doing it and got really good, consistent content. So, congratulations, my brother. Man, I appreciate that. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank Shout you. Shout out to George. So, um, as Tell far as coming, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get it out. Hurry up. You know what I'm saying? Um, <laughs> so we got some shit coming up, man. We got, we got, I started Patreon, and we starting with MKU After Dark. Um, it's gonna be Asia, mm -hmm. my nigga Slaps, and uh, potentially it's gonna be Catalina. Mm. And it's basically going to be yeah, You go ahead and explain this shit It's going to be all that shit That y'all didn't want us to talk about On the regular MKU show Okay So it'll be basically A little bit of relationships Mostly sexual things And just any anything we want to talk about That we try not to bring to this podcast But y'all going to have to pay us for that content It's hot yeah, shit Yeah, yeah, yeah Yeah, we're going to start off Pay some, me Yeah, we're going to start it off a little cheap man. Three dollars You know what I'm saying But, you know cheap. but Three dollars a month But at this point, when this shit get bigger, man, it's gonna be like 10, 15, 20 dollars a month. Dollars. You know what I'm saying? I'm a, I'm a lock in wise low. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be hot. Y'all yeah, better lock in. Yeah, I ain't definitely gonna lock, lock in. in. It's in. gonna be visual. Jason's gonna be shooting it. You know okay. what I'm saying? He's gonna be shooting it. Um, and I'm also gonna be bringing porn stars on there, too. Um, okay. I got like four or five on deck right now. That sounds like a terrible idea. Freaky mm. frog. I mean, no. Slaps. Mm. Uh, <laughs> We're all poor. Oh, we stars. Gonna, we, 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 we gonna make that. Right? I, I, I've already talked to her too, by the way. So that's potentially about to happen real soon as well. So, uh. oh, oh <laughs> man, look, he like, <laughs> he like, what the fuck? Yeah, shout, to, yeah, shout, shout to Tiana Trump, man. But yeah, we about to make that happen. Oh yeah, call me for that episode. Yeah, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, 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 yeah. So oh, we making that happen, here. man. Um, we getting everything together, man. So we, we got some more content coming along the way. We're gonna do some music shit too. Like we're gonna do music reviews, like breaking shit down as well on there because they like to take shit down when we put it on Spotify and everything, man. but they can't they can't fuck with us on Spotify. So they can't. Yeah, so we're gonna make that happen too, man. Shout out to everybody that's been riding with us for the year. Um we're gonna take a two week break, but we're gonna have like a preview of MKU after dark reels on, on one of these shows and everything too. So Yes sir. Yeah, man. So shout out to everybody, man. Crack, appreciate you for all the work you've been putting in for us, man, as well. We appreciate you, Crack. Um, shout I got, out to you, bro. Yeah, I gotta uh, whatever you want something to drink, man. You can yeah, if you want man. to, man. Don't so, drink I'll, the eighteen. Don't drink the eighteen. <laughs> Listen to me. Yeah, don't, don't drink the 18, 18 bro. Man, Dude, don't do it. <laughs> the 18, man. Shout out to my dog AP over here shout as well. Shout out to man. AP, man. Definitely, man. We got some shit on the yeah. way, too, man. So we working on things as well. And uh, shout out to my dog RTL Sco. He shout out to RTL Big Sco. Sco in this bitch. Big J. Now, um, also, too, man. Yeah, there you go right there. Shout out PC, man. He just walked in the building, too. Shout out to PC. <laughs> man. Shout out PC. Niggas <laughs> just walked in random as hell. <laughs> we'll tap in with y'all, man, in a couple of weeks, man. But we got some shit coming for y'all, too, man. So we're going to have content still coming out there as well, man. So we appreciate y'all for tuning in, man. Um, we're going to keep this shit moving. Love. Yes, Thank sir. you. Yes, Bye. sir. Peace. I'm hot as fuck.